Welcome back. We can't hear you, honey. I can't hear you. Okay, hold on. I had to press the button. I had to mess myself up. I do that a lot. It's okay. We're going to start back from the top. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome in. I'm Angela Roche. I am here with these lovely people as we are here to talk about RuPaul's Drag Race, season 16, episode 11. Um, this was the second episode of You Could Have Kept This, but it's okay. We're going to talk about it anyway. Um, because y'all really could have kept last week. Okay. Yeah, last week you definitely could have kept. Definitely could have kept last week. But this week was the 80s runway. They had this challenge about um, putting on a seminar, which honestly seemed like kind of a hard challenge. Um, and the people did the best they could with what they had. Yeah, I did think this was a... I, I thought this was a very interesting challenge. I thought it was kind of hard, too. Yeah, I would have I would have found this one diff difficult. What about the rest of y'all? How did y'all feel about the episode? Just kind of overall. I thought it was worse. <laughs> okay. D. First off, I have a headache, so I'm not going to be talking a, a lot, a lot. So gotcha. just bear with me. Um, It was okay. <laughs> I think everybody did, didn't do the best. Agreed. Everybody stumbled. Everybody. Yeah. Today was a day of everybody was average, for sure. Very, very that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get right on into it. Um, honestly, this first part of the episode is probably my favorite part because the mm. people that came back in, um, who went home last week? Oh, nobody went home last week. That's right. Nobody went home. Um, yeah, didn't care much for that. <laughs> this, not this late in the season, especially not for what we got from the episode. Anyway, because I could drag that last episode all over again if I wanted, but I'm not. Drag her. Drag her. <laughs> So, hey, Sofa Dog, welcome in. But, um, yeah, it was just, uh, you know, who cared? Um, we had this situation between Plain Jane and the true villain of the season, uh, Dawn, where Dawn decided to be honest with Plain Jane and let her know that her dress was an afterthought and it <laughs> was not meant for a beautiful woman. It was not that elegant. Um <sighs> It was a brunch dress. No shade, Jane. Like, girl, that was a brunch dress, and we all know it. Well, what did y'all think about <laughs> Jane and Pla uh, 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 Dawn reading on each other? I don't One thing think about that, that leaf, it just keep turning over. And we keep finding plain Jane under that same leaf. <laughs> that keeps mm. turning over. <laughs> daughter, daughter, you said, and I quote, you was trying to be a better person. Look, I'm already talking with the two deals I got on. Uh, you said <laughs> you said you was trying to be a better person. Where's the better person? Because the second you thought somebody was coming for your gig because you are so delusional, you thought you weren't in the bottom when you were, because right. you got outdanced by the broad you gave the elixir to. Right. You went nuclear. Mm -hmm. She said, girl, I don't know what you thought, but darling, you was in the bottom. And she said, well, that's why your grandmama did and ain't got no kneecaps. And that's why <laughs> your granddaddy slept with the dog. Oh, <laughs> wait. All I right. said was, daughter, were you aware you might have been at the bottom? And she went nuclear. Mm. So I would just like the, the editors to know that this poorly executed redemption arc was a it's failure to it's, it's a failure to launch is what it is. It's a failure to launch. It never got <laughs> off of the ground. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not doing what it's supposed to have done. Um, like I said, they were trying to give it to us. It did not work. Um it we gave not. it back. Return to Cinder. We don't want it. We yeah. Don't want it. Yeah, because it's not no. Yeah, them reads were terrible. Like, did oh, anyone find anything that that Plain Jane said to have stuck and or landed? No, because I don't remember shit she said. Same. She said, you are a shitty voodoo mess. Yeah. That's what she, she said. said. Black Lagoon and the Abyss, that's all I can recall. Mm -hmm. But it felt just angry because I was happy somebody tagged Jane because Jane been tagging people all season, so she got her get back. 
Well, it's, to be fair, it's the first time we've seen them tag Jane back because mm -hmm. according to Tsunami, both in Geneva, Geneva and Amanda were dragging Jane and had her quiet, like sat her. Oh, they should have showed that. The people right, because like, the people would have enjoyed that because we don't like her. Okay, yeah. I don't care how much y'all try and throw her down her throat. We, we, don't like don't like her. Her. we don't like her. We don't want that. We don't. Yeah, like the people her. said that. Uh, who was it? Um, tsunami said, "Yeah, Geneva, not Geneva. That Amanda had playing Jane sitting over there, gooped, gagged, and mute. Okay, Good. full mute. Good for her. That was great TV. They should have showed that." Cause we like Amanda, oh. bad makeup and all. We liked her. Okay, we. Mm -hmm. I mean, can we just be fair and say all the people who were actually extremely likable were home first? All yes. of them. All of them. All both of them. <laughs> all both of them. <laughs> yeah, honestly though, I'm not gonna lie. This felt real awkward without plasma. I hate to say it, but like the episode felt a little odd without plasma around. Mm -hmm. Not for me. Hmm. Uh -oh. I forgot. I forgot she was there. Me? Yeah, I'm mute. Who? Oh, I no. Oh no. Um, it's my cheeks was because she was talking. Oh, got I was you. somebody in the house. That's why. I oh, you. got you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry um, about that, y'all. <laughs> oh no, you good? I'm watching. I know the people got stuff going on. So, um, but yeah, um, so that happened. Um, honestly, no one cared past this. RuPaul comes mm -hmm. in, lets them know that they have, you know, this uh, challenge that they have to do. I thought it was cute, the little trivia challenge. Oh, I forgot about the trivia game. That's right. The trivia but game I was, was cute. I liked it. That was cool. Um, I was just confused. See, this is where it was cute too. make me confused. Mm -hmm. How is it that Plain Jane understood the, the assignment to be strategic in the voting for the... Um, Jamar, hold on, I can send you this to your um to your inbox. I sure will. Um, how is it the plain Jane remember to vote smart during the Raider Queen, but then just didn't vote smart during this? Am I the only <laughs> one who caught that? But she got all the producers told her who to vote it, uh, it, in the Raider Queen. The and editor. she was going off her own knowledge during this game and now we see that she has no knowledge or no memory retention or yeah. any common sense so therefore that's why she did so terribly in this game because yeah. it was crazy okay. to me that when rupaul asked who is the most likely to be blocked that she did not vote for like girl you know these people don't like you <laughs> You but I think that, some of that goes to her own no I think no I think she is like I really think that plain Jane Think, just like she really didn't believe she was in the bottom. She really didn't believe that had this been an elimination week, that her ass would have been in the bottom last week. Mm -hmm. I think she really does. Like when she didn't vote, when she was the only person that didn't vote for herself she for, did. yeah, I think she really truly doesn't think that. I think I really do. She can't. Like That's she a land of delusion. I mean, I watched, I, I watched Life is a Drag. Mama knows. Mm -hmm. Mama knows who she is. Like, Mama been this person for a while. She was a villain on that show too. <laughs> but she think, but she thinks she's good enough to be a villain, and it's still gonna be all right. Oh well, that's what that is. That's an unfortunate delusion right there. Cause no, ma'am, you're not successful enough to be a bad girl. You see, Violet Chachki got away with it because she was really, really talented. Violet Chachki got away with it because she had a two-inch waist and everybody was enthralled with her two-inch waist. She didn't okay. actually... And she was, a, cause she was a complete dick the whole time. And I knew she was a dick still is. the whole time. It still, still is a dick. So... And an ass. Um, the answer is no. Yeah, she did not read better on Lysa Jack either. No, it was these contrived reads. It wasn't given anything useful. We didn't like it. But that being said, shout out to Safira. Um, 
Amen. You're one this, you want her oh, money, yeah. everybody want all their coin. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a bad feeling that they are letting her win all of these things because when she gets to the end, they're gonna give it to somebody else. And this is for mm -hmm. us not to be angry that she didn't win this crown this season. I see I got the other way around. I want you to have the crown. See, I got the other the other way around because some of them superlatives that they did, it just screamed like, by the way, all these girls like her and like like her winning the who's gonna do the best with their money. I was like, so are we just trying to show who should have the two hundred thousand dollars and who shouldn't? No. I think because she because when she don't win the crown and she only get Miss Congeniality. Then it'll make sense, and then we won't be as angry because people will point back to this challenge and oh, but Safira, all the girls love Safira. Ba 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 ba. Y'all see how she did in that particular challenge, and that's why she is Miss Congeniality instead of the winner of the whole fucking season. Yeah, that would they be gave crazy. it because they gave it to untalented plain Jane instead. Cause they like a white queen. I don't. I don't think they're gonna be able to give it to Plain Jane. I think mm -hmm. if anybody is gonna be Nymphia, mm -hmm. um, what what? Here's what I really think. And before I do, I'm gonna bring up Jamar. Uh, welcome in. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, not but I think what they are also were doing music, <laughs> right? Come on, you gotta come in, hang in. I really think they were hoping that um, Dawn would give them the. Uh, face crack situation because she hasn't won anything and she didn't. Because I'm really trying to figure out why Donna's still here. She's the villain of the season. I mean, outside of that. Donna's here for the narrative because, you know, they lost their narrator when they got rid of Hershey. So <laughs> Donna's here for the narrative. She's just evil about it. You know what I mean? Because if you pay yeah. attention, Donna's narrating the episodes, she's just <laughs> mean. <laughs> Very. I wonder like if anyone, because I don't feel like Dawn is trying to be like malicious. I wonder if Dawn has ever had someone give her the same conversation I have. Like, hey, I don't think you're trying to be mean, but girl, you're you're really mean. Can I um, be honest? Somebody had to tell me that once. Sure, be honest, honey. Oh no, I was just quoting Dawn, but still. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> I just don't remember last. Was it the week before? No, it was the week of Snatch Game or the week after Snatch Game when uh, Dawn went up to Nifty and said, Oh my God, we were so gagged that you were not in the bottom, girl. Like, oh my God. And I'm just like, Nifty, you could have read her. You could have read her and be like, Girl, I'm surprised you're still here. Us, oh, that's over here with wins and, you know, being in the top. <laughs> like, you don't okay. even go here, girl. You don't even go to this school. Yeah, but I'm what are you doing? You're still in the competition, let alone the bottom. <laughs> well, not what we call see. Okay, girl. <laughs> so they get into this challenge. Well, they get into these rehearsals. Um, here we see ooh, here we see them screen testing Michelle Visage to be the host of uh, Drag Race Down, Down Under yeah. because we already knew RuPaul wasn't gonna go back to that after the last season was so trash. <laughs> um Surprise so came back. Down under. See, I watched the first season and then I was like, I don't think I like this. Season and three. They never went bad. back. Season three. Season was one bad. was bad. Um, mm -hmm. because okay. they brought somebody back for no reason and let her stay oh, the entire time. Art, mm -mm. Um season two was season two the one with Hannah Conda and yeah. the Didn't they didn't have amazing. like a drama or something with Down Under? Oh yes. Then we well, because in season three. Was it three? No, which one had Hanaconda and two. King Queen? Two. King? Two. two had two, yeah. Okay, so then three was then trash because you then had RuPaul tell this girl who had done blackface, it's okay, mm -hmm. girl, we forgive you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Way, no, we don't. Baby, the way to, they were, because they were going to try and get that girl to win. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The way that the internet cut up especially mm -hmm. after and what was even worse was the girl who tried to hold her accountable got sent home on the episode that she held her accountable oh yeah oh, we were like so you sent etc home after she held that girl accountable oh, yeah. just for Ru to sit up there and give that girl the excuse and we all were like yeah no crown her if you want to watch we drive this show into the ground and we still drove the show into the ground so RuPaul said I'm out 
<laughs> gave it to Michelle. Well, they said that, well, because they were well, the filming down under, it said it was interfering with their, or conflicting with his book tour, which both can be true at the same time. Mm. That is a convenient excuse. They conveniently scheduled that book tour during the same time that they film mm-hmm. down under every single year. Yeah, I'm surprised that down under keep getting renewed. Okay, that part. I'm waiting for Drag Race France season three, bitch, because the first couple of seasons have been the tea. Okay. Season two, I love it. Um, they cannot perfect. bring Holland back. That's fine. What? Perfect. <laughs> Do you see? Yeah. This is what I mean when I say that this current episode I really could have kept in the vault. It was filler because we don't really care. Mm-hmm. Um, let's move on. That terrible. Oh yeah, uh, we get to these people actually doing these um, challenges. Wait, before that, did anybody care about Michelle Visage being in the room with these people? Mm-mm. Doing what? That's I cared the about first time the man that was in the room with them. The little Chinese man. Oh yeah, yeah. it Chinese? was nice to see him. Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah. Um, outside of that, mm-hmm. didn't mm-hmm. care for any of these walk arounds at all. Mm-hmm. Not a one. <laughs> I I remember it. What were they talking about? Michelle Nothing. going around asking the people about what they were doing with their skids. Oh, she was going to be helping and whoop de whoop doop chop. Next. <laughs> yeah, Thank very... you. Next. Yeah. Just couldn't. It wasn't for me. Um, so we get into the people coming out to do these uh, uh, seminars. Girl, they could have just said this is a drag con uh, challenge day. It would have made more sense with the, the runway, but whatever. Like, uh, yeah. The, uh, what do they call it? Not workshop. Seminars. Uh, drag seminars. Um, this seminar. I was highly confused. Yeah, they kept saying that uh, word, and I was like, why? Why do you? Maybe it was just careful wording. Maybe they had to, I don't know. Maybe they just want them to say certain shit for the network. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Remember when they did it and was it you oh, with oh. por- portionizing? Um, mm-hmm. That again, like where they're at, I guess, drag con and they're doing mm-hmm. like whatever that was. Yeah, it was a drag con challenge <laughs> where they did drag con like um, the, the panels, <laughs> which actually happened at drag con. Uh, one of which uh, a show that Jamar is on was recognized for their work in terms of reviewing the show. Period. Period. <laughs> Eric, hey, do people know who you are down to the drag con? Huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Which I was confused that they really didn't make this whole episode like that, considering what the runway prompt was. So I was <laughs> like, girl, why? But anyway, we got these weird things. First up, we had Q and Plain Jane. Um, the first two jokes were funny. Did anyone else have any thoughts about the rest of this? It was. I thought that they had the best chemistry as a duo. Welcome back. I would agree with that. Yeah. Oh, I want to say something. I'll wait till the end to say something controversial. <laughs> mm. At the best two jokes, I watched a bunch of slides. Here's a couple of clips. That was cute. But other than that, I didn't find them funny. But they did have the best chemistry. I will agree. Mm-hmm. I would just like to say that she acted like she was uh, the real doctor. Um, the real doctor? doctor. Mm-hmm. Because what? Amy Girl is a real doctor. She has a PhD. Who? Uh, who? The one who was on the. Oh, God. Be taking the snacks out. Ugh. Her boobs. Uh, uh, munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Ugh, silky. Oh, Dr. Um, silky. Oh, silky. Silky, silky you nutmeg ganache is a mm-hmm. real doctor. Yeah. So uh, when she was acting like silky, I was like, uh, uh. but can we address that? Maybe she didn't win because those silver pants was ugly. Oh. <laughs> so maybe that's where Rue counted out some points. Yeah, these looks are crazy to me. I don't understand what's happening um, at all with these looks. I personally thought Q was just loud for no reason. For no reason. 
Hello, hello, hello. I was like, bitch, calm down, calm down, calm down. Go take a Xanax and leave me alone. Not, not take Ooh. a Xanax. Girl, it was too much. I, she was just like, what's going on? And then, of course, it just, you know, plain Jane got slutty. So, as per usual. As usual. <laughs> I mean, I was not, I of course was not impressed by that display, so I moved on. Um, did anything else impressive happen during this set? No. <laughs> Great. The next one was the catastrophic <laughs> failure that we all watched crash and burn from the moment it began. This did sorry. not take off you know and what? crash. Not Maybe this did not happened. even take off. Not from the moment. She she was great when she dropped some papers and then it crashed. Uh-huh. I have You're... secondhand embarrassment. I wanted to fast forward. I did. This why I was. It was so cringy. I was like, "Oh, this is bad. I don't want to watch this." Mm. I should fast forward. I really wish I had a fast forward for this because. Mm 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 mm. My biggest thing. When did her shoes come off? I can see the makeup. I don't Ooh. know. When did her shoes come off? Because I looked up, because I'm not going to hold you, I did not want to watch this, like, straight through. So I was, like, doing something else on the side. And I looked up, and her shoes were off. That's why I took the screenshot. Because, Maya, why did your shoes come off? Y'all were standing. <laughs> her feet That's why. Probably because her feet are standing, standing. And my thing standing is, Maya, just these pants the is long enough. <laughs> like, on, girl, I get it. Like, the, the pumps hurt. I get it. Um, your pants was long enough. You could have put a boot on under there and gave yourself some ankle support. Please, because if they had even seen a hint of a boot under there, it was, they would have said something about it. <laughs> I mean, would they, it have mattered? They clock, they clock, they clock Safira every time she put on her little dancing biscuit shoe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if that girl had even had a hint of a boot, they was going to say, they was looking for anything. I mean, yeah, it didn't matter. I would have rather her get rid for a boot versus her walking around the main stage and her bare feet. Cause I, that cannot be sanitary's daughter. Like that cannot be sanitary. Can't be. Oof. Mm -mm. Anything else about this dumpster fire of a fuckery that we saw called a presentation? They, they tried to make it seem like Dawn was just holding her own and holding it together. She was floundering too, child. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. I did want to say that, like, they were trying to make it seem like if it wasn't for Dawn, the skit would have been a complete disaster. And I was like, it still was a complete disaster. I didn't hear any jokes. It wasn't like Dawn was funny and Maya wasn't. I thought the whole thing was awful. Terrible. Yeah. Like, they don't even look like they should be a part of the same group. Right. Yeah. What is this hairstyle? I was... Dawn, what Girl, are you wearing? I don't know. This is another one of them situations where I'm just really tired of this nobody drag thing. Like I'm, I, I cannot wait till we get back to the put it on more is more era of drag. Um, Don, what the f is this on your body? Very third grade school teacher. Okay. <laughs> I just, oof, I hate well, it looking. At this. It's very pre-K now that I think about it. They like very colorful, outlandish. Can't be. <laughs> she, mm. she do look like Miss Honey from Matilda, dressed like that. Oh. Oh. Miss Miss Honey, Miss Honey. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This yeah, this was <laughs> chaos, fuckery, and foolishness. Um, next was mm. Safira, Morphine, and Nymphia giving you three different presentations on the stage at the exact same time. So this much so that you couldn't stop that's... talking over each other. This uh, this is giving me Safira and Nymphia were going to the same place, and I don't know how Morphine wandered into their presentation and just started <laughs> talking nonsense. <laughs> it, it, like, what happened, daughter? So Safira and Nymphia are like the two business women on vacation, and they stepped into Morphine's uh, after party drag show in Vegas. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> wow. Remember in Legally Blonde? Remember in Legally Blonde when she came to college for the first time and she was dressed up in all of that pink? That's what Morphe remind me of, of that scene in Legally Blonde. <laughs> yeah, I just I didn't understand this. This whole choice was crazy mm -hmm. for the look. I said, What 
Where are we going? Understand the assignment. I'm just gonna put on glasses, and that's business enough. That's what Morphine said. I guess. I mean, what she really, but what she didn't say uh, was a joke. Unfortunately, Uh, I didn't hear a couple of people on this stage say a joke. Because what was funny about Nymphia? Okay, yeah, we had a controversial conversation because baby, I was about to say Nymphia went with what she knew she could get away with. I chuckle. I ch- I got a good chuckle. I'm not gonna lie. I did not. I did. And they was like, you know what? We all can laugh at that, but we can't ever imitate why it's funny. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I get it though, because like that's her culture, right? Like, and when people try to say like, oh, she oh. shouldn't have did that. She leaned into it. And I'm like, that's how she grew up. She like that's, mm-hmm. that's the and, the, she and and she did it. And Manila Zan has done it. And Correct. who's the girl? And who's the girl to do nails? She's not a drag queen. Uh, lovely, uh, <laughs> lovely, well, she'd be a lovely Mimi. Mm-hmm. That's that's what that is. And, and have, because that's they their food. culture, they can absolutely do that. If Safira can do Shaquan and Latisha, then she can do Mingli from the nail shop. It's if, fine. if Maya can do Trina's uh, cousin, but Shaquisha, she sure can. Then that's the thing. Olympia can do this. It's like it's, they only find them funny when when they do that stereotypical accent. But that's see, here's why, the thing: uh, is, we, we call it a stereotypical a accent. For them, it's just how they talk, right? Exactly. There are people in there, like, because these things wouldn't I, come up if it wasn't for real. Yeah. So there are people in their culture, if you go into the salons that where way. the girls don't really talk like, they don't speak that much English, but, you will hear people talk like that, for real. Because I've had people talk like that to me, for real. Like, there was no artifice, think- it, wasn't a, it wasn't an act that they were putting on, that was just how they... English is their second language. That's just how it comes out when they speak. Mm-hmm. But do you think it's a difference between her doing that voice and Maya doing that that Trina cousin thing the other day? No. No. Because they're doing a character based on their own experiences. That's what, mm. that's what Simone would have her challenges on, thir- on season 13 because she was giving the neck This role. is true. Get that real Shanae name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, attitude and they lived <laughs> yeah what were you gonna say kiss my cheeks no I just, I don't think it's a difference I just don't understand why when Nymphia does it they're like oh I feel uncomfortable should I laugh at this but when mm-hmm. people, oh girl all of y'all on the floor not just rude We're laughing right on the floor so y'all don't feel no kind of way when mm-hmm. people girl but you you a little abreast when they do the Asian accent. So I just felt, I felt some kind of way mm-hmm. with that. That's That's true. I, 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 I didn't think. feel no type of way because they've been doing, they've been laughed at us the whole time. <laughs> right. I think that's why I didn't give up because we, and I think the other side of it is, um, it's different when someone is offering us comedy from their part, from their perspective and their point of view, right? This is, this girl's real, experience of life so if she can make jokes out of it she can do that because she actually grew up with these people she actually experienced these people the same way we kind of laugh when the people do you know when the black people do that because we know that person we yeah. have met that that ghetto banshee girl in real life we've actually met her we know someone we can relate to and i think this is a situation some where some of us are her Okay, I think the other part of it is we, and especially on this show, we don't end up in a situation where many Asian queens get this far or get to express that comedy. And so when people do it, it's always non-Asian people trying to do this. And it goes wrong. But if she's giving us who she is and that's her culture, and she's like, oh no, this is how the people are, I'm laughing. I'm so sorry. It's like when Melinda Verga did um, Snatch Game in Canada and ate it up as feminine Manny Pacquiao and I said, well, the Filipino people don't do that, but that shit was funny. <laughs> mm. But there's a difference between a cult- cultural appropriation and appreciation. That's Correct. her appreciating her culture. That's not, if if a black person was doing what she did, then oh, that God. it would be a problem. Be a if problem. a white person did what she did, that mm-hmm. would be a problem. But because she is from that culture, then... It's like how can tell you not to reference your own 
your right. own stuff. Right. It'd be the same thing as if it was a, a Mexican person, or not Mexican necessarily, but a Latin person. And, you know, they got up there talking about, you know, I'm the mom, I'm going to hit you with a chancla, um, mm-hmm. you know, this, that, and third. I could not do that. Mm-hmm. We, most of us could not do that. However, if that is the experience you grew up on and grew up with, then please bring to us what your life experiences were and some comedy behind it, because that's the only way I'm going to learn. Really be welcome back. I don't know if you have anything to add to this uh, discussion in terms of the comedy used by Nymphia. Yes, I just wanted to, I agree with everything everybody's saying, but I wanted to say that I understood what Angela was saying. Like, I understood what she was saying, at least at least the way I felt was, the the problem i didn't have a problem with with everything y'all said i agree with but the problem i had when she said she felt some kind of way i understood what she was saying because there was never a discussion about it being culturally inappropriate and maybe controversial Mm -hmm. i mean there's even times when michelle is like you need to you know you need to add a little more neck rolling and like she's even giving people that direction before and i just find it interesting that there was a whole conversation about it being you know possibly controversial or possibly inappropriate and I think that's what Angela was saying not because I understand I mean I, I agree with everything you guys said like that's her culture it's kind of like you know we can do it but you can't do it kind of thing and she's okay with it like Q couldn't have done it but Nymphia can but the point for me it was but why is it a conversation now about right. it might be controversial when it's never that conversation any other but time black people, right? I agree with that mm. And I think it's just because from lack of lack of exposure, like this does not happen very often, mostly because they usually eliminate the Asian queens before we get to comedy challenges. So they've never had to deal with it outside of Manila, no. really. Manila was the last one to to do this. Um, wasn't well. I don't know if it's considered like a comedy challenge, but that political ad. Thing that they did on season eight with Kim. With Kim oh, Keen? and she did Kimmy Jong Un. Well, when they just that did the political crazy. ad, remember when uh, like Bob and Derek were paired? Together? Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. I remember. Kim that. was paired with Chi Chi, I believe. Naomi or Thorgy, one of the two. But she just they did that political ad, and she tried to be. She had a really bad, I like, a list problem at the at the time, so mm-hmm. she had uh um you know, enunciation issues, but I think that was supposed to be, like, a funny challenge, and she couldn't really, like, pull it together. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. hmm And so I think it's just something we have to experience more. Like I said, if somebody's, from for me, if somebody's willing to come and make fun of their upbringing and their culture um, and things that happen within it, and they present that to us in a comedy space, I'm fine laughing at it. Um, when someone else goes to try to like talk shit about somebody else and use their culture against them is when I'm like, yeah, girl, no, we're not doing that. So, but shout out to the conversation. I'm glad people are actually having it now. Um, Mm -hmm. maybe we can get more Asian comedians to be able to share their experiences. Um, next we get to the runway because that challenge happened and no one cared. Um, This is RuPaul. <laughs> I liked everything from the waist up. The waist wow. down, you could have kept it. Uh, what is happening? I liked it except that extra piece of fabric. We didn't. You didn't need that. They just this is her. Um, this is her All Stars Five promo wig. Mm. It sure is. <laughs> it sure <laughs> and is. It, and it and it looked good. It, looked it does good. look good. I do love the wig this week. It gives me a Tinkerbell vibe, but I actually like it. <laughs> I agree with it's Dee. I like everything except that piece that fell to the ground. Like it felt like an afterthought. Like there was too much fabric. Yeah. Made it, didn't want to cut it off. It was not enough fabric. It that the dress should have hit the floor. I don't like that it's right up under your Gucci with all that fabric. That oh. should have been. If it was gonna be a ball gown, let it be a ball gown. Hit the floor. I don't like it. I don't like that length. I oh. like the cabbage dress. It's cute. Uh, I like it too. I like the color. I like everything from the waist up. It's just the the length of that the him on no. Mm. On the floor, please. No. I do love the earrings. The earrings for me are really just ooh, so beautiful. Absolutely, okay. her face is dusted as per usual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that face is <laughs> insane. Ooh, Raven, you doing your big one, girl. Mm-hmm. Next up, we're going to show the five. I like that. Michelle look good here to me. I remember she when we good. She used pissed. to see that. I remember when her titties were so big we couldn't see the star. I remember that. Right. Okay. Oh. Now she's just small all around now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I care for this hair on Michelle. I don't know. I don't like it. I prefer uh, the gray. I, I like gray. it. I want that drawstring ponytail. That looks nice and thick. Mm-hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. I I I her, uh, her gray stripe. I would have liked to have seen gray go into the ponytail a little bit more. Me too. That wig look looks out, out of Magic City or the pink. That's <laughs> Jesus. Although I Don't am tired of people. I do need the people to stop wearing the pink peach uh, story like orange color story because y'all keep fading into the background. I don't like it. <laughs> That's the that peachy pinky peachy color is the Pantone color of the year. No, I guess so. No, it is. I'm saying no, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm over it. I'm also uh-huh. over this one. Ross Matthews was here today. Where's Ross Maddie? Ain't he, Ross ain't even do nothing. I was. I miss Maddie. She'll be back. Coming. <laughs> and what's funny? Well, we is she was lit. We literally saw I'm her face mom, on the. But... I just we, we just saw her twice. Listen, she, her face was literally on the Mount Rushmore during the presentation, so she was represented in this particular episode. She was. I would love to see Maddie next week. That would be amazing. Go to the back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ross was here. He looked fine. Um, I love special. I don't even remember him like talking too much. Um, Joel Kim Booster. Hello, sir. You are beautiful, gorgeous. And you are in an open marriage. Hello. You did let us know this in Untucked. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Well, yes, I mean. he did let us know this. So if you're in the California area, jump in his DMs. They are open. Please, please don't jump in every DMs. <laughs> don't well, get embarrassed. Oh no, he flat out said it in the untucked. He said that's not the point. The point is I want you to I want you to look in the mirror first before you decide, decide to dive into this man's <laughs> DMs, okay? Like, I want you to oh, be for real with yourself. <laughs> I want you to, I want you to be for real with yourself. Okay? Ooh, Don't get embarrassed by jumping in this man's DMs. <laughs> they can cut his marriage open, he open to anything. Please. Oh, wow. I'm hot. Don't do that. That is for the sickening girls only. If you are not sickening, do not Listen. jump in this man's DM. Please, please do not try and use your face card to cash a check that you ain't got the the equity for. Please, okay. Okay. you ain't got the funds in the uh, account. Uh, the BBC's only. Oh, what's a BBC? You don't want to know. Say it on YouTube. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the British broadcast <laughs> channel, honey. The British Broadcasting Channel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Black Crayon. BBC. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> yes. British Broadcasting Channel, BBC. <laughs> I mean, that's the only one I that's, know around here. That's not uh, what that means, but okay. The, the, the big well, Black Crayon, it. that's what that is. I'll put it together. I'll put it together. I got it. Period. <laughs> this man can get a big Black castle. Period. First up in alphabetical order, we have the people in their eighties runway looks. Um, first up we have John the villain. Elimination. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That's a boots. <gasps> Them a thigh high. I, I like suspend the like boots. It. Boots. <laughs> Not bad. Is 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 eighties? Is it was giving it me is. very much WW um F or whatever. Eliminate her. <laughs> right, because she it. already wore this before. She already gave us boots with straps on them that go up around her shoulders. She already done this. This is not bad. Mm-hmm. This is bad. This is a mess. I like it. You know this what this looks reminds like? Me of? Uh, look up. Is, she said, like, uh, WWE, WWF. This is giving me very more. She's, she's gonna jump wrestling. off the top. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling. She's gonna jump yes. off the top rope. Y'all yes. remember? Uh, y'all remember the flea from Lucha Lucha? Okay. Yeah. 
I didn't think it was bad. I didn't hate it. I I, I did think it was eighties. Like it was definitely punk eighties. I didn't. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate right. it. Right. I did, it was. It wasn't bad. We. I think you just don't like her. This. It's not that I don't like her. I just don't care. You. No, we don't like her outfit. either. But, I think uh, it's the fact no, 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 no. we don't like her in conjunction too. We didn't like this. We didn't <laughs> like either the person, the person, or the fit. This, That's what this, this gives is. me. Very, this gives me. Um, Jocelyn Fox decided to go punk, and this is what she's oh, wow. doing. Not the last oh, from the past, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Fox. Fox. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. It's giving Jocelyn Fox, but punk. And I All no, right. no, ma'am, I was not here for this. Like um, what was the theme? The theme. It was eighties. It was DragCon in the eighties. DragCon existed in the eighties. Yeah, DragCon in the eighties after a wrestling match. Right. It's the face teeny. Like maybe if she didn't put that thing it's on, very, it wouldn't look so wrestling. It's very Nacho Libre. Yes. Very <laughs> Rick Star. Woo! Finna jump off the top rope. That's what it's giving me. It's you can't see me. That's what this is giving us, and we don't want it. Thanks for turning this in. Mm. Yeah. Um, I like. Well, Don, you tried. We consider it a fail, and we're gonna move along now to mm-hmm. an actual failure. Um, mm. Maya, Iman not McKay, she's an actual failure. Oh, this look is an actual failure. You know, I, liked yeah, this. I, I didn't like I'm, it. I didn't like it. It gave me outfit. very much troll doll. She looks like this, a troll doll that I would keep. This, this, I'm going to attribute this look to the designer that failed her. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I agree. I can agree with that too. But still, this was just not for me. This was not '80s. This baby, was you know that. You know what that hair makes me want to do, bitch. What's love got to do? Uh-uh. See, it was giving me running high, running low. That's what it. That's what it gave me. And I don't know to go. Oh, no. fly, my that's what it gave me. This was. I got great. a new attitude. She that's what it gave me. It. Like I say all the time. So I'm glad somebody said that. She needed to be corseted down. Oh yeah, the body yeah, is too. I, uh, it was. It, she had hog body today. I think that's like baby girl had hog body last week. She got hog body today. I think that's because she knew she was going home. Um, I did watch her meet the queen or not meet the queens. Um, what's the one? What you packing? Eliminated? What you packing? Mm. And her and Michelle talked about it, and she said that when she knows she's about to be flipping and tricking, she does not wear one. But if she's just wearing a gown, she'll she'll course it. So it's okay. giving. She knew she was gonna be in the bottom. She said, "No, I'm just be ready to, to you know, to buck." I would like this yeah, wig, though, for real. It's, it's no bullshit. It's the best part. It, it is. I, that I, is, that I, is I would, some hair. I would like that hair. Yeah, that hair is everything. It's very much old school drag. Just <laughs> yeah, I live. Just I live ob- obnoxious. Just obnoxiously big, friend. Ma'am, mm. I can't see the pastor past your hair. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I do hope that she learns. Um, I need her to go ahead and mix her translucent and her banana powders, so that because at the beginning it's not of the season, as bright. It's so bright. Because at the beginning of the season, I don't mind it being bright. I just need it to be toned no. down from color. It's, at the listen. beginning of the season, it was white, like it was stark white, because she was using only translucent up there. Now she's using only banana, and it's like, no, ma'am, hmm. you got to mix them. They don't make the powder, the powder for just layer powder. it on top. Ma'am, I need you to get this. Is what I need you to go. I want you to go onto Amazon, and it's this oops, she glam peach powder. Please, I beg of you. Yeah, please, peach. please, Here, wait. please, daughter. Because you know, any other thoughts about this look? About how she was giving this. Girl, she's padded at least. She is padded for filth. My God! <laughs> mm-hmm. but Once yeah. I realize how big her pads really are. You know what? It, if you had padded enough, you could have made it look like you had a corset on without having a corset on. She sure can. But you have to like. Mm, you didn't have to pad the top. Then, then your body start going into Sims Four territory. No, so full dog. It's that she glam from a she. 
this Shein's makeup brands. But you put your stuff on, it don't move. That powder, mm -hmm. it don't move. But you know, shout out to her. She is gorgeous. That uh, that lip is lovely. Mm -hmm. Next up is Mort Fiend Love. Dion. Chop. Prepare to lip sync. I right. did not like it at For all. For your life. This was yes. not the assignment. <laughs> I do not like it on a train. I do not like it with a brain. I do not like it, Sam. I have. I do not like this. Please, ma'am. <laughs> what are we doing? For me, no, it was the fact that she walked out talking about um uh d let me know when you're ready in the chat because it's not showing me anything right now um there we go you ready why is everybody borrowing playing james wig cool uh, well this was q's wig um when did i do wear not that? know that i cared much she did her... that's why she it was available to be borrowed didn't she Oh, so so it was just plasma that used playing shades. Yeah, she you. said so, Q. Morphine, morphine used plasma's wig last week. Well, I'm not morphine used the exact know. same wig the plasma used that plain Jane used. Mm. <laughs> so that wig has been on three different runways. That flat, bone straight ass wig. <laughs> ain't K no, ain't no way, ain't no way. I don't think they're gonna use it no more. The last bitch that wore got eliminated. Well, they got the bad juju. They got bad juju. <laughs> well, this is what um, this is the second wig that has hit three different runways on Drag Race because on season eleven, um, Silky and um Akira kept passing that big old gold wig back and forth. Oh, sure did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they passed that about three times. <laughs> Oh, uh, Star says borrowing wigs is madness. Now I'm gonna tell you this: in the real world, oh baby, in the real world, um, when you see a girl come out on stage, there is a sixty percent chance she's not wearing her own wig. And here, let me tell you how that interaction goes. I would say fifty-five. Uh, let me tell you how that interaction goes too, and it's real great. And this is how you know when you actually got sisters in the room. Oh, girl, I really wanted a curly one for this for this number or whatever, but I ain't got one, but I got this little hair here. It'll be fine, whatever. <coughs> oh, girl, I got this curly one. You can wear it here, too. And then yeah. she goes out there and turn it. <laughs> and then you put it on, you go out there and turn it, you yank it off and you hand it back. The only question you have to ask is, sister, can I tent your lace or not? Okay. Because one, because... of, my, one of the girls who look like this asked, and I'm borrowing her her wig. I either have to cover her lace line, or I have to ask the question. But you know the thing is, they could they could wear ours and just call it contour. And just call it contour. <laughs> sure do. <clears throat> sure do. But we be looking like bitch. Why you got a halo? Uh, okay. Uh, ask, ask La La Ri about it during All Stars because she has sat up there with a uh, uh, Alexis Michelle's wig on and got eliminated. Okay, with a bright ass a bear, a girl. White. <laughs> it was terrible. Because I wish you would eliminate me in your wig. No. Oh, also, Morphine showed her butt again. Um, did anyone care? No. That's Prepare to lip sync. <laughs> Prepare to lip sync. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was very that. Lenny uh, Hanoi, y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah, girl, we be we be handing off all kind of stuff in the drag right, in the drag room. Honestly, you'd be surprised. About thirty percent of the costumes be somebody else's too. Mm -hmm. Next up is Nymphia Wynn. Hell, you last year's too. Shit. Grace <laughs> Jones <laughs> from Vamp. Mm -hmm. That's this, is, what it was. this was good. At least it wasn't yellow. <laughs> you okay. know what's crazy is she actually hasn't worn that much yellow on the runway. She just doesn't stop talking about bananas, and she always wears it in the um workroom. The workroom. But if you actually look at all her runways, she doesn't have that many yellow runways, no. which is crazy. I think she's had like three. Yeah. Now that being said, we was all over it for because I think the reason we didn't like that the color pick your color wrong way is because it was bananas, not because it's necessarily yellow. I mean, it was banana yellow, but it was like, girl, we over it, tired, and not impressed. 
And I this feel like however, that was probably something she already had. So that was less. <laughs> oh, I guarantee that was in her. <laughs> Easy. Her Which, don't you think? I would too. Um, Cause I would have picked blue, and I know exactly what dress I would wear right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find Gia Gunn sporting it in uh, the the Mister. Um, oh, girl, I hate that. Damn, her and Manila. But that dress that uh, Gia has on and out, yeah, I own that, <laughs> and I love it. Um, that being said, shout out to this. I also live for these uh, the 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 pieces on the top of her head, looking like my stove. Girl, look, I can fry some chicken on her head. This oh my God, my not stove. the eye. Not the eye <laughs> Now she got an eye on her pussy. What? Because her pussy is on fire. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> if Bianca come out in the same dress, I mean, hey, there you go. But to be fair, Bianca only had the same neckline. Everything else is usually different. It's the same damn dress. Please stop. Just because she put it to the mm. left shoulder one time and the right shoulder together does not mean it was not the same dress. I lo- and I love, I stand Bianca. <laughs> it was the same dress. It was the same McCall's um, pattern number 26. Maybe every if it single works. <laughs> and if it worked, it worked. Hey, shout out to her. Uh, yes, next sir. up is Plain Jane. Who honestly for me gave me probably the most like recognize well not the most recognizable eighties but a very recognizable eighties moment. Mm-hmm. Half that me, I actually yeah. did not like this. I did not like it either. I did. It gave me very much. Gem is my name. Truly outrageous. You, I didn't what get that. I got big. I got Bet Midler big business. What? No. I did get better. You know what? I was thinking the same thing, Abby. I was thinking the exact same thing. You know, That's for Jane, and you know, I don't, I don't mind Jane. I'm not a part of the, the Jane hate train particularly, but for Jane to say, you know, Amanda, we had to talk about how you've been looking. I don't particularly care for Jane's makeup style. It's just very much black oh, eye. Where'd it go? What did I do? Now, oh. her, now she got a black eye. My God. It, is, it's, it was just very much just Isn't black awesome black shadow is. and not much else going on in the makeup department. It's not at all. Like Her makeup is really boring. It is the same black... Sh- and this is what I mean when I say they be giving that weird read to pe- for all the girls who don't do a beauty mug. About you run the same makeup, like and nobody told this girl she run the same makeup, but she literally runs the exact same makeup with one eyeshadow and some concealer every time. Maybe two. Maybe <laughs> on a good day she put on two shades, but it's usually literally one shade of eyeshadow and some concealer to create a lid space. Child. But I'm just you're like, beautiful. I'm like, girl, what? Linda Evangelista, you're smiling. <laughs> girl, I mean, kind of. It's how it feels with her some days. I'd be like, y'all really love her face like this? Like, what? Um, Next up is Q. You know what? Seeing her eyeshadow up close like this, girl, what's happening on your eyes? This is, no. No, no, no. You know, Q is just using a very unique I shape. Um, it, I, mm, it, mm. I knew what was going wrong when she was talking, doing her mirror moment, and she was talking about her status. And then I, all I could see was her brows. And I was like, that's not. I hope she fixes that. Don't leave them looking like that. That's Maybe. out. Just me? Okay. Drag is. Well, see, drag, you. When doing drag makeup, there's going to be that stage where you look like you would scare small children. But the end result usually <laughs> comes no. out looking like something. I, you know what I think it is? I think what it bothers me is that because her base is so beautifully blended, that white under her eyebrows, it just doesn't make sense. Because it feels like her whole makeup should be really big. And then mm. it's not. It's proportioned like us, like uh, us realness girls. Like it's proportioned like that. And it's like, this brow, this white under your brow doesn't make sense. I, I really want it to be her actual skin color. I want, you're right, soften that. You can still highlight under your brow, but soft. It doesn't have to be that clown white underneath your brow, beloved. But you know what? It might just be one of those stylistic choices that she just likes. And it's just like, we just have to accept it. 
I mean, that's fine. I, I accept it. I don't have to like looking at it necessarily. The wig is giving very much Elvis. Oh, that's what it's Child. giving me. But I could. Girl, I was gonna say, I thought more, Jets, more Jetson. Yeah, I this wig wasn't my favorite, but, 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 but Benny and the Jets. In general, the look is lovely. Um, we mm-hmm. also, you know, got to get her her storyline with it. You thought this was lovely? I think she. I think it it was tailored very nicely to her body because she's a good seamstress. Okay. Indeed, she is. I do believe that to be with. Now she just was really throwing mm-hmm. it at all everything she could at the wall to win again this week. And I, even though you know, I think it's a strong one way. I don't think her challenge performance would warrant such. Her, I don't think her challenge <laughs> performance gave, but the way that they treated her and everything, I can understand where she was coming from. Um, mm. Then to to give all of what she gave on a personal level in that room, to yes. then give this one way. It was it was a lot. They really played in her face. Listen, I, I'm gonna say this. I honestly think that she got robbed. I'm sorry. I like Safira, all mm-hmm. of that, but I do not think she should have gotten the win this week. I don't. I really do think that either Q or Plain. I think they were the best group. I understand that Safira, you know, commanded the stage and all of that, but I don't think she was. From what they showed us, I don't think her. She was the better. From what yeah, they showed us, I just don't think she was better. The that's what I was gonna say. I was, I was gonna say, I probably would have gave him the win to Plain, just mm-hmm. for her. Because even though I think Q was coming up with some of the jokes, I felt like Plain had the delivery. Mm-hmm. So I, I, am would, I the, yeah. <laughs> am I the mean one where I wouldn't have had a winner because they were all terrible? No, just there. <laughs> I mean, there they could be that before. <clears throat> there definitely could be an argument for that. I think what really bothered me <clears throat> was they got so detailed in trying to make sure we knew mm-hmm. that um, Dawn, I mean, that Q here did so much, even down to the fact that where they said, who came up with those first two jokes? And Plain James, oh, Q did those. Like, those were her idea, period. And I'm like, oh, okay. So Probably we- because she thought they were going to be like, because they were terrible. And she was trying to throw baby girl under the bus before but, she realized they was giving her a compliment. Well, no, I mean, them, that moment got the biggest they were last. in the room. Like, mm. everybody was there. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew that that moment was funny. Those two jokes were the first, were the best jokes out of everybody's presentation. Because if was. I had been sitting in it that was. audience, if like, if, 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 if we're going to go to what the actual challenge was, if I was at a mandatory you know, seminar for my job and the people who came out, that was, those were their first two jokes. That would have got a real laugh out of me and then I think I probably would have been done. You know what I mean? Then the rest yeah. of the night I'd have been like, damn, for real. First of all, talking. Loretta and I would have been texting each other. It's like, this could have been an email. Like, why are we... Come on. Right. And it, and it could have been. And, the whole and, thing I'm, and that's really... going to always be my take is that this could have been an email. I'm going to always Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I just felt bad because I feel like they really played in her face. Also, this shoe was lovely. I know that had to hurt to stand in, girl. Whew. Next up is... This is why she won the challenge. <clears throat> this is why she won today. This is why she won the challenge. <laughs> this is why they let her win the challenge. She walked Look out this. looking like Michelle Visage back in her heyday. Baby, when I all let her was, I want to dance with somebody. I could have that's, that's all I heard. I said that she came exactly. out. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I, I thought the other stuff. I'm every woman. <laughs> oh no, that's not the same era. That's way later. She ain't had a hair. That's, diff- that's a different era of Whitney. So this is very a... much. I want to dance with that somebody. That even look like the wig she had oh. on in the video. Okay. Mm. Exactly. It looks exactly like when it. the night falls. Yes. My lonely heart comes. Um, I, I need this wig. Sophia, I don't even wear big hair like that. Like, I'm not a big but hair I'm girl. Today. I am. I am a big hair girl. Say. I like it. We like it. We like it. I, I, this was Tens across the board. And she put them white pumps on. So that's another. <clears throat> and it wasn't a biscuit. So they couldn't clock up for her shoe this mm-hmm. week. So, yeah. This, uh, this get up is why she won. This she she won. This Agreed. Is, this like is why she won. Barbie. She does. 
I would pay a lot of money for this doll, and I would make sure every one of my daughters had one. <clears throat> and, and I would, I would have, have one sure in. I would have one in a glass right. case, and then I would have a second one sitting <laughs> that's not in the glass case, but still in the box, sitting next to her on the shelf. Hey, Safira. Hey, Ken. Okay, hey, yeah, very that. <laughs> oh, and then this makeup is perfect. Like sometimes her makeup Give for the crown, is, please. Eh, but this makeup is so good. It's so good. So good. Oh, yeah, she just she peed, she peed for me. Um, so we get to the judging. Uh, judging is very awkward because it does not paint the picture that we have all come to know is going to be the end of this situation. Um, I would just like to say that even Safira was shocked that she won. Right. Okay. She was like, oh. She was like, wait, what? <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> we get here, we find out that it, there is a top four and a bottom seven. In the top four, you have... I'm not your friend anymore, <laughs> not a bottom seven. I mean, top, top four. Top four. Top four and no more. But only one high placement was given out, really. Uh, the, okay, three people did... One person did decent, a group did good, and everybody else showed up today. <clears throat> <laughs> wow. I think that's the best way to put this. Accurate. Um, because <laughs> yeah, these people. I mean, I hope, oh, girl, we saw the shit. It happened. Um, Safira is your winner. Everybody is gooped. Playing. I'm not playing. Um, poor Q, baby. The, the editors played in your face for real with this one. They Q. made sure they knew you were gonna get gagged. Um, because not only did they catch your face drop when it was announced, they then caught you turn to plain <laughs> Jane to look for some acknowledgement. Like, bitch, you saw this. Did you see this? Like, are you serious? <laughs> plain Jane knew better and did not look at you. Just turned the other way. Everyone else is clapping except Q. Q eventually starts clapping. And, <laughs> and they walk to the back of the stage. And, then... And that, the but the funny thing is, oh, go, go ahead. So you go good, ahead. sorry. Then the real gag is you get Q actually say to Safira, I'm happy for you, but I'm gagged. Q, why would you say that while you're still mic'd up, sis? Because you gave them people everything they wanted. So much so, baby, you're going home next week. <laughs> That's just not what I think. I think you're going home next week. Um, Kiss My Cheeks was here earlier and her thing said Q is on borrowed time and after you gave them that re reaction that they've been looking for from you all season, you're going home mama. Oh not, you're that girl that we thought but, you were. <laughs> but also in on Tuck in on, didn't she didn't say that um, oh I could see either me or you, Safira, winning. So when she Safira say that. Now, all of a sudden here's what I think because, here's why, right? Because if we've been a, a fan of the show for long enough, you kind of understand the, the goings, right? If you sit there talking about your real heartfelt situation, you got all this stuff going on, you talking about your one two one twos. when you talk about your personal life, one or two things happen. You go home or you win, right? Cool. She done told she delusional. She delusional enough to think that she's going to win. I mean, look. I mean, I would... I would not argue that she's delusional based on the edit we got because we got uh, her personal story. She got super emotional about it. She did decently. We got a scene where Plain Jane explicitly said that Q was the reason for the best jokes of the night. Then you go to Untucked, right? Because keep in mind, Untucked was filmed before the people come back. Then you go to Untucked and she does say that she can see it being either of us. Then my husband is on the on the projector screen. Now y'all done got me all emotional, all ready to go, riled up. I had a good night. I look good. The people great giving me good reviews on this. I walk out here, and now I'm not the winner. Listen, here's what the top four is going to be. I understand everything that you just said, but it's going to be Nymphia, Safira, Q, and Plain Jane. Now, how the other bras going to get kicked off is yet to be seen, but that, those are going to be the top <laughs> We're going to be looking at their little stupid kid pictures, telling them how they to give themselves motivation. Talk to five-year-old Jason 
and shit. Y'all know how they do at the end. Mm-hmm. But uh, believe so- me when I tell y'all, and, and, I, and like I said at the beginning of this, the way they are giving these flowers and these things what? to Sephira is going to be because they're not going to let her in. Now, I know everybody's thinking she's getting the winner's edit. She's getting the winner's edit. I feel like they do all of this so that there's not an absolute uproar in the end when that girl don't win this I can see that. This competition. I can see that, right? Because if I'm looking at it from a future perspective, right? Um, maybe. Here's the problem. <clears throat> and here's why I think she will win. As much as we love Safira, nobody is going to want her back on their TV screens. And I love her to pieces. But we would not, we don't want her back. She's not entertaining on television. She does good drag, but for the TV aspect of it, I don't want not, her on all She's the winner, so get her off our TV. Not necessarily like that. What I'm saying <laughs> is everybody else is a better all stars contender. Nymphia getting the, redu- the, the, the redo of, I had a few stumbles. I was almost there. People really, really like me, and she's going to make viewership show up. Cool, great. Plain Jane, I mean, I was the, the I was the bitch of my season. Let me see if I can come do this differently because I did really well. Maybe people won't hate me this time, right? Cool. Q, I was almost there. Let me see if I can get it because they dangled in my face the entire time. I don't want to see none of these niggas back up. But okay. I mean, not you might not, but I'm just trying, I'm looking at it um, today, trying to sell the show perspective, right? I'm going to throw a wrench in here, and I something wrench. something just in my spirit. Now, I don't know nothing, right? Not deep in your shine enough. Okay, sorry. right down there in my hoo-ha. Um, Miss Q might not see that finale, and I see Miss Morphine up there. I don't see Q saying, you want to know it's quiet, quiet as kept? I don't see Plain Jane seeing that finale. Oh, Plain is in there. Oh, no, she's going to be in the finale. Plain is in there like swimwear. I don't see it. Now, then, I, I don't see now, Q in Now, listen, there. I see, I her going see them the finagling. The finale. Who, Plain? Yes. No, she's uh, making it some... to the finale. She and, has to. And, and they, gonna, they keep trying to give us this fucking leaf because they're going to let that bitch win. And they gonna go. Oh, plane is not winning. Plane Plain is not winning. Plain oh, okay, win. all right. We'll go. We gonna see. Here, here's the thing. At the end of the if day, if anything, Nymphia will win. If Sephira doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't. At the end of the day, they have to make a, um, a a a business decision, right, on the winner. Like that, it still has to. Like, let's keep it real. This is a business that has to continue. They have to make a business decision. Because even though people aren't dragging playing and doing to her what they did to like Raja O'Hara necessarily, what they did to Raj? Oh, on her first season, the people went crazy, told her to unalive her, all of the things of the thing, like, crazy, and oh, she wasn't even this bad, right? Um, she, what she did to the people. Raja really didn't do nothing, but back in her first season, she was very misunderstood and she was real snippy. Um, Caddy even. Uh, and so it rubbed people the wrong way. And oh wait, they... that's the season when she was calling people boogers. Correct. Um, so you know, plain Jane is not receiving all of that right now, right? Like she's not, she's not getting it like other people would. Because of that, <laughs> they're gonna be more than happy to see her stick around or bring her back for more, because. The girl comes in and self-produces. You don't have to create television around her because she makes okay. it. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Who won last season? Who was last Sasha? season? Sasha Colby. Sasha Colby. And Sasha Colby also this... wasn't good television. Okay, no, no, no. Who won the season before her? Willow Pill. Willow Pill. Willow Pill. Okay. And, and it was Simone before her. Mm-hmm. So it was Simone, Willow Pill, and then Sasha Colby. Yep. Like a stupid yes. Oh, I mean the drag race winter circle is filled with niggas. Like it's I know. You know I understand that. And, and um here's the thing, and, it, and this is why I'm saying we're talking about television. Out of these girls left, Safira is not like no, Safira's bad television. No shade. She's lovely drag queen, but she's bad television. 
give her her crown and get her out the way. No shade. I don't think she's bad television. I like watching her on the TV. I don't, I don't get like... excited to see Safira's green screens. I, I, I know she's not going to give us a moment. I know there's going to be nothing exciting or dramatic happening with her in the workroom. I know she's going to show up. She's going to give us good drag. And she's going to go home and mind her business. And I'm fine with that. But that's what my winners need to do. Not the people I want on television more. Sure. I mean, think about your... Okay. Let's look at, for example, um, some of these chasing seasons. There are people we like. And I love them as people. I don't necessarily want to see them as interacting with others. <laughs> I don't want to see Safira on television no more. I just want to see her drag. I can watch that on Instagram. Like watch her perform. I can go to the. I will happily go to the show. I will pay all the good money to go watch her perform all of it, and I will tip her down. I don't want her on television. <sighs> Tracy not, oh, not you, not. The- and I live for her. And here's the thing: because I am so biased towards ballroom and drag, you can't make me upset if Homegirl was around. But she didn't bring a whole lot. I'm just gonna. And I wholeheartedly acknowledge my bias towards those both of those realms. Like Drew Friday is an automatic favorite for me. I don't care. Um, I don't care what she does. I'm always gonna like Drew Friday, period, because she's a drag queen. Hershey, same story. Um, Ariel O'Hara, same story. I don't care. I I, like I, I have a clear bias. I like Hershey. Listen, I I want to like Drew Friday. I really do. I, I really want to like her. Something about her don't sit right in my spirit, man. So do the same. I mean that's fair, you know. You like who you like, you get what you get. Mm-hmm. But less right. what I mean. And if like, she and if she dropped one more name from Drake's place, oh, girl, you ain't got a you ain't got a pill to put in your mouth so you can be quiet. What is what are we doing? Why why every time we see you, it's sixteen different drag names and, and girl. Um now I will say this, I will say this. In the drag world, connections really do matter, especially in terms of working. So it. I would like the record to get up because I caught some tea. Yeah, nah, I don't know. What the, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I don't up. know everything about the Atlanta people, but I do know around here. Um, it's always not what you know, but who you know. I agree, get. I get. I, that, a, I get. I mentioned I, my drag mother's name, and I get shows. No shame. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sure if I mention my drag mother's name, I could get shows as well. Right, we'll get, uh, but look, ooh, that's a good question. Do you all think? Oop, wrong one. Do you all think that um, Drew would do well on Drag Race? Depends on who's on the season. That part. She's the first out. I think she'd be into it. I don't think she'd be first out because I don't think they're gonna lip sync her out. But that's uh-huh. it would depend on who's on the seats. <laughs> yeah, Maybe if it was a season full of performers, she might be in trouble. But if she if she gets somebody she can buck down, she gonna buck them down like down. <laughs> Give I do not think so. I don't listen. <clears throat> if the first challenge is a sewing challenge, daughter's in trouble. Mm, yeah. She's actually made like a few of her outfits though. It's just, it's, it depends on. Who's on the season? <laughs> no, it was just yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. No so just, Tracy says that Drew Friday is a great performer but terrible personality on the show. Here's why I say that she's not actually a terrible personality on the show. Y'all talk about her to this day. Y'all are still talking about what you do and don't like about her personality. That's because you brought her up in conversa- conversation, not because he really, really wants to talk about her. I mean, whether you want to or <clears throat> whether you want to or not, the conversation's still being had, which is talk Mm-mm. and eyes no. towards the. You don't I have agree. To like only be only because Mm-mm. while it was happening, we t- they talked about their disdain for it. Whereas with Sex of Fear, for example, we're not really talking about her on the show as the things she's doing. Perhaps, like, as far as her personality goes, we're enjoying the performance of it, but like her as a person is kind of like. She's gonna be the Jada Essence Hall winner. Doll. She's gonna be. She's gonna win just like Jada. She's gonna win because she does good drag, not because we like her. And it, I like Jada now. Ooh. 
Jada, Jada S is hall when she won season twelve. I mean, even I though she feel like Jada, I feel, I feel like Jada, Jada was, I can't put them in the same category. Jada absolutely was funnier. not. Jada was funnier. That bitch. Is Jada, Jada is, <laughs> look over there, bitch. Listen, that he's still quoting her I mean, stuff. It took us a while to get into Jada's personality, and we, to be fair, mm. we didn't really get into Jada's personality until no, that. Cause episode. I picked, oh, I did. No, because I picked her to win. And if we, if you can go win. back to, you oh, can I go back to the win. video, the very first episode. When I did my review, I picked her to win, and she reposted me. So, cause she knew, cause she, cause she, cause she knew at the time. I didn't know, she but was I was like, "That's who, that's my winner for the Period. season." Was her based off of what little we saw of her in the first episode? So well, I was I, into what? her. I'll give you a better example. Off jump. I'll give you a better example. Simone. <clears throat> I feel like I don't know anything about Simone. I as just a person. Know. At I all. just know she's sassy and she likes uh, baby oil. That's it. That's, That's all it. Literally all we know. And she was she even that sassy because she was a little round away with RuPaul, but she wasn't sassy to none of the people. She didn't get into it with nobody or had no moments. Simone, but you don't have to to be. You know, that's I don't remember a single thing Simone did on the show. I remember her fashion and I remember her lip syncs. And what else do you need to remember? She that won. makes a good winner, but not a good television personality. And that's why I have no problem with her winning because I did not want her back. I'm, I'm, I do not want to see Simone on my screen again. She did what she I do. do. She did what she needed to do, and it was lovely and amazing and perfect and beautiful. Just like I want to see Bob back on the show, like but, on my TV. Yes, I want to see Bob back too because Bob is good television. So I wish they let Derek first. stay because Derek was great television. Too. Derek is good television. <laughs> I liked Derek. I do too. I think Derek Barry is hilarious. I truly do. I think that bitch is funny. Leave your eyes alone. But you know, because she's quiet and focused, she's not good for TV. I'd rather have a winner that's quiet and reserved and a loud mouth like Miyaka. What it is, right? And when we're talking about good for television, um, when I say that, what I mean is, can this person create memorable moments that we will still be reciting 10, 15 years later? There are moments and people who created good television moments, like Shangela. We all can still recite, I don't have a sugar daddy. I ain't never had no sugar daddy. If I want one, I go out here and go get one. Because I'm what sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy. Because you are not that you type are of not girl. that type of girl. Okay. <laughs> If you're not creating moments like that, that but everybody can't that. be that. I'm everybody like everybody cannot be that, and that's fine. Crown, and that's fine if they're really, really good. Crown them and move on. Good. First of all, you gonna stop blinking your eyes at me like that? Here's why I said crown Sephira. Like <laughs> to me, Sephira is the best drag queen on that stage. I mean, she's going yes. to win, hands down, right? I just am not interested in seeing her interactions on television with other people. And when I'm watching a reality TV show, I'm not just watching for the, the runways and the lip syncs. I care more about the interactions y'all have with, with each other because the other stuff I can go see at the bar or on Instagram. <clears throat> now, it's nice to see it on TV, but I miss when them lip syncs meant something because the two girls in the bottom have been, like, arguing. Mm. And we said, ooh, like when Alyssa and um, Coco lip synced. Okay, that was a build up of life. I mean, they kind of had a build up with this week because it was like we needed it. If you didn't do it, it would have been a waste. Yeah. Yeah, we needed the Miami girls to go at it for sure. So, oh, okay. Out of all of the drag race winners, who was the most memorable TV? Bianca or Bob? Mm. Baby's a mm. Bianca, Bob, and contrary to popular, uh, Tyra. Tyra. Tyra was great television. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bianca, Bianca, Bob, Bob and Tyra. And Tyra. I, I well, well that lip sync. I, I want to. Throw um, Evie. No, Evie, uh, no, Evie was good because she had people around her to give her reasons to be good. 
though. <laughs> Evie oddly was odd, and her ankles were broken all the time. It was just if the whole Evie thing, didn't I... have um, Silky and them to read because the judges were reading them, Evie wouldn't have grown out. I don't remember time. one read from Evie Ugly, honestly. I don't remember nothing from her. What does that have to do with anything, bitch? If that counts. Oh, well, that was, or, that was or, more like um, an add-on to Silky. Sasha Velour was talented. Like That's like the only thing we remember that Evie said. We remember Evie performing. We remember Evie backbending and all that don't fun jazz. Don't joke about that. But in terms of the television moments, we don't quote her. We don't if quote we, her. We have to, uh, just so we can, you know, celebrate the winners, give like your favorite quote of the U.S. season winners. Okay. Have one. Um, I do. Season one. Face, face. Surfing face. Right. It's not even words. It's not even words. For me with BB, it's that look she gives when someone would say something crazy and she was just buckeye. She was like, like, bitch, do you know who I am? Did you just yeah. get here? Why are you talking to me, peasant? What is Very happening? Very that. Um, season two with Tyra. Um, I like to say that Tatiana is a good. Well, no, that was that was Tatiana. I was about to say Tyra is a complete bitch. <laughs> she, she was like, like, if I don't like you, I don't like. I like you. you. She's like, yeah. she's like, I don't like. Then you. why are you talking? Then why are you talking, baby? <laughs> Listen, ready to fight. That mm-hmm. whole interaction was everything. Shout out to Listen. Tyra. Season three was Raja. Oh wait, uh, I feel like. Shangela belongs maybe on season five or six and not season three. But that moment was that moment is iconic because Shangela ate her back up. Because <laughs> Shangela looked at her and said, Well, that's a real interesting conversation piece considering we're casted on the same season. Listen. <laughs> you, you here just like I'm here. What you mean? <laughs> baby. Goop Raja for that one. Goop. <laughs> like that was a Shangela moment. That wasn't a Raja moment. Like, Raja was a part of it, but that's because she got ate up trying to be a bitch. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, yes. I don't have one for Raja. I have no... no. Not no right. Good uh, season four is redacted. redacted. Uh, tired-ass showgirl. A tired-ass showgirl. Go, yeah, listen, I mean. that go back to Party City. Argument. <laughs> yeah. Lives in my head rent free. I don't care what nobody says. Oh yeah, you tired ass show girl will live in history for the show, right? Like no one's ever That's forgetting sense. that line. Mm-hmm. When Fifi said, "Go back to Party City, where you belong. where you belong," it was <laughs> where you belong. Like that belong was <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. Let's see. Season five, Jinx. I would say hers was her snatch game. <laughs> That's a performance yes. moment, not a team. I'm about to say now, outside of that, her falling asleep? Yum. Yum. Her narcolepsy was so <laughs> That was so funny. Sleep everywhere. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I don't have one for really for Jinx either. Season six is. What do, what do you do successfully? Yeah. What do you do quickly. 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 quickly? quickly. Not today, Satan. Not to, that when she got you. when she got Laganja together and said, "Now listen, now when you told us <laughs> that your parents <laughs> had done all of these things, they really didn't accept you. Your whole life has just been terrible. But when they put them on the video, you they said in the last couple of years. Now either they were lying or you were lying." Which one? Baby. <laughs> season six was the Be last the great season of Drag Race Listen. of the old school version. Yeah. Like, get her Jade. Listen. Get her Jade. Get her Jade. Uh, yeah. Oh, what was it? Them older you should have been more concerned that them hips don't match them shoulders. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Baby, it's because that was really before the internet took off with the show. Yeah. Before people were dragging them. Because keep Just in mind, anything. back rolls. Back row. Oh, um, and for other people watching, keep in mind in actual drag spaces where we actually do drag for real. That's what the side drag looks race, like. We drag each other for filth. We talk out of love. shit out of love. 
and the good drag queens will read you down from head to toe and fix and then everything. Pick you. everything and then pick you. Fix everything they read. Well, the problem is y'all are now seeing the television parts of it where the girls just do the reading part and you and don't, then see the don't come back around and, and the up. reconciliation and fixing right. it. And that's what happened with Mistress and I'm glad they eventually started showing it or if you watch the extended episodes they put out you find out that Mistress actually was helping out the twins um, <clears throat> and not just reading them for points. Let's see. what well, we That didn't make me like her. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Season 7 was Violet. I don't know. Uh, Come through! Come through, yeah. Because Violet was back there enjoying her a good drag show. First of all, Violet couldn't talk, but she couldn't breathe because she had that corset on all the time. Ooh, her wait, she said, uh, her look like she had one. had a rib removed. I just thought of another one. Life. That first episode where they walked in, they said, ooh, Jasmine was like, ooh, hot letter girl. She's like, no one says that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. But yeah, so yeah, shout out to her. Well, season eight was Bob. I mean, we not about to go through Bob's drag queen girl, quotes. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, Bob, can you show me how to do ratchet drag this week? I can show you how to do memorable drag. drag. <laughs> it was done by well, that's the performance challenge. So that's, that's that, that won't count. No, because when yeah, um, when they was doing that Empire parody, right? And he took yeah. that jacket off, and you want to yeah. see like this. Yeah. Hold on, that's more. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I'll give Bob that one because they said that was completely improv. Was impro- yes. He's like, you're thirsty, bitch. And put that shit right on Naomi's face. <laughs> right on her, yeah. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. Let's see, season nine. Don't joke about that. Don't joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the most memorable thing that woman said on that season. That was the only thing that woman said on that season. I'm glad I mean, aside from her coming after Valentina at the um, uh, reunion, but I don't even remember what she said. The best read wasn't even by the winner. It was by uh, what's Aja. Aja. Fan fan. Valentina. I mean, smart, I mean. No. You could put on a diaper and go on that runway. Oh, that. They'd be like, oh, Valentina, God. your smile, smile your is skin. beautiful. Maybe the most iconic re on Drag Race. And it's because. While she... looking like she was looking when she did okay, it. But... What she <laughs> it's because she did it while that girl was sitting five feet away. And and now, to be fair, Valentina did look crazy that week. She did. Looked crazy. She looked crazy. <laughs> she, she did look crazy. She looked she like reason, a demonic troll doll. The reason and, that you diaper, had the nerve. I felt like a, a rug rat in drag. The reason that read hit so well is because it was true. It was. And we all were thinking it. And but we, we all just... were thinking it. <laughs> it's why it hit. It's because no one disagreed with a single word in that read. Not one. Not one. Oh, and good. it was due to no fault of her. It's not my fault. I'm gorgeous and everybody knows this bitch. Right. So you <laughs> mad because you homely looking and your makeup looks like that for him? That's not my issue. Child, face Do better. Together, Be better. Yeah. Who was the season 10 winner? Aquaria. <sighs> Bonjour. Thank you. Next. Uh, season 11. Uh, we got for what does it have to do with anything, bitch? <laughs> Sasha Valor was talented. That's about it. Uh, season twelve, Jada. Look over so there. Jada has look over there. That look over there kills me. But that was part she... of a challenge. I would like to retire uh-uh. her with title. The Listen. same challenge. Let's talk about it. When we did not get Jada's on... personality until that episode. No, because. She was saying little shit. She had a few it. moments. Listen, when she told Goldblum during the judging, they weren't even at to look over there. And he turned and looked like it was something over there to look at. It sent me. Because, sir, what do you do? We're no longer in the skip. We're at the ju- we're in the runway at the judging. Yeah. Yeah, and he, she, and mean, he was because if he could, he would have been in her pants with her. Because that yeah, I definitely think she has a good, up. like, good personality. It just it took so long for them to give it to us on the show. Well, this was the COVID edition, COVID season. So. It was also the season that they had to edit a girl out two days before, Who like, edit her to win. out two mm-hmm. days before the shit aired. It would have been easy if it was like 
if the person who did the, the crime was like a third out. That was the person who they were going to eventually give the win to. And so they she had was to supposed take to be completely out the show. <clears throat> I want the. I want to know the, the Ed, I want to know who was supposed to be the villain. Well, I was Gigi. Say, I, I, I know who was. So you, Gigi you told me. Right. Gigi. I want to see the edit where Gigi was a villain because I bet she was a fucking cunt to them people in that room. I bet yeah. you she was a cunt to them people in that room. Yeah, she gave that, unfortunately. I don't think she's all that I way now, but I think at the time... Her, her mama made. That's all I remember about Gigi. They had to drive the fact that her mama made all them outfits home because they really didn't I'm, have no other plan for her. I'm not mad. I'm not either. But her that's mama is clearly talented. They, well, and then her, she lost because of her own privilege. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. mm-hmm. You can't get on the internet in the middle of an election year talking about, I've never experienced... I don't know anything about that. I don't, I don't know want to talk about, about it. Experiencing, you know, disparities from being gay. I, I don't know anything. Like, what? Girl, in, the, in an election year while the Pacheeto is trying to get... Girl, what? Why would you say that Ooh, out of your baby. mouth? That is, that is for you darkies, not us. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what she said. In, in so many words, if you take all the fluff and, the you know, the glitter and sugar off of that it... Is- that she is said, for you, darkies, to experience, <laughs> not me. That's I am thin, white, and beautiful. Yeah, it was weird. It and was you're crazy. nothing of the sort. We got our, we <laughs> not got... you're nothing of the sort. <laughs> 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 not you're nothing of the sort. It was made for a beautiful. <laughs> I am hollering. <laughs> now you are nothing. This crown was made for someone who is beautiful, hot, sexy. <laughs> and the rest I of you are can't. nothing of the sort. Jesus. Father God, come get me. I just, I would like the <laughs> option to check out, please. Okay. Because Let's this is a lot. Uh, we talked about, I didn't say we talked about Simone already. Who was 14, Sasha? Willow. Oh, Willow, sorry. Oh, okay. Give me, a, give me a, a memorable Willow line or moment. Um... A line from Willow. I mean, outside of her performances, there aren't any. Again, did great drag, bad, bad television. Thank you for coming here. They kind of gave her the. I just, I. Oh, that's so terrible I'm to so say. I'm so sickly and homeless. Right. It's like, me. I'm I'm doing so well off the just barely. Against all odds. My, I will right. prevail. Yep. That was literally her entire storyline. I mean, the reality is. Even though I did find it funny when she, I, most people didn't get with that uh, talent show thing, but it was funny to me when she threw all that shit in the back. Right. And, and then got into it. I, I, was, I, was I said, uh, what is, what's happening here? But it was funny to me. I, I I got a good chuckle. I'm not going to lie to you. I definitely got a good chuckle out of that one. Um, But I don't know. Outside of that, yeah, I didn't really care. I'm still not convinced that uh, Cornbread was supposed to be the winner of that season. Maybe not win, yes. but go a hell of a lot further than she did. A hell of a mm-hmm. lot further. Um, she could have been. She could have been the winner because everybody loved her, and she was. She was I mean, she's she's a great, and she's a great. And she's a great drag queen. So. I mean, she basically did win the season. She did. I'm pretty sure she has a like. Even though it's not a spoken open invitation, I probably I bet you that girl can go back whenever she wants to. She, she can. I don't she think still she works with them. She's still being World of Wonder shit all the time. Do. <laughs> like that's how you can always tell when the girls are still like have a good relationship with the people when you see them all over the place. Right. Is it okay? I mean, you can, usually you can also tell when the girls are about to come back for all stars because they pop up all over the place. Uh, <laughs> when are they gonna put cornbread and Hershey on an all star season together? Ooh, I would I like an all stars where it's <laughs> drag families. Mm. Like the house of Jate. You would have to get season one of All Stars fuckery to come back for that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Because when Raven told, what's that child? Mimi, I'm first. They picked you. You, I didn't even think you had 12,000 fans. How did you get here? And Mimi got mad and changed their outfit and walked off the set. Yeah. Around. <laughs> Teleport us to Mars. <laughs> I I would I, I would I love to have were not cast uh Hershey and um Cornbread on the same season, and here's why. <laughs> if they do, um they would 
I mean, we already know that that lip sync is coming, right? Or one of them have to send another one home. I'm not interested. I'm I not don't want to rock. I want to see them stand. Um, I want to see them stand on their own. Yeah, I want to see. I don't want a Raja Raven. We both said, "Oh no, it was Raven and Juju B. Juju B. Juju B. Crying, they mascara running." Don't cry. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I got Mac- a lip sync against my friend. Okay, Lil Mackie says, um, "Vivian, Lauren, I, pre- I like pre- Priyanka." Okay, so Lawrence the Vivian Chaney. was the Vivian really good, or was? Everyone around her just giving her a lot to work. I mean, she did good with the Vivian's life. only competition that season was Davina DeCampo. Davina DeCampo. And maybe yeah. Blue Hydrangea. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Blue Hydrangea. Blue Hydrangea <laughs> both was like mm-hmm. Blue Hydrangea in two episodes proved that she was an all-stars contender because all the all the kids liked her. Um, period. Lawrence Cheney should not have well, but it's Cheney. I I think we, he won because of his name. So like I feel it because it's we which just is like fair, to say his name. But it, like if I watch the competition, taste one. He was funny too. Lawrence Cheney was funny. that season. No shade. Um, it was. I mean, I know you know I loved her, but as I said, Bimini cleared after. Oh, you're right. No, Ben, that was Bimini, Bimini cleared. Yeah, Bimini cleared. <laughs> Bimini cleared. <laughs> no shade. You're right. Bimini cleared them. No shade. And I, I love Taste Down, but even she knew. She was like, "Girl, I win it." Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bimini cleared. Now Bimini I gave y'all some nasty lip syncs, though. Okay. Listen, uh, taste. The face. Mm-hmm. I gave y'all some nasty lip syncs. The eyes. Oh, girl. The um, hair. Thank Woo. you, Jackson. I live for Spanky. Okay, Spanky Jackson. Spanky fun. cleared the season. She Spanky bottomed the first episode season. and was in the top for the rest of the season. That was it. Um, Priyanka. Okay, Priyanka was funny as hell. Priyanka is. Funny I think the other two of the top three. Just and I like likeable. her music. Who were the other two? Were her oh, Rita, Rita Vega Vanda and Scarlett Bobo. Unlikable people. I mean, Very I like Scarlett, but just not to win. Yep. Not to win, and then Rita was not favorable on the show. You wait, okay. Wait, people. You can take Jimbo and throw him in the garbage can, please. Wait, what? Wait, what you say, Asia? Wait. So next one was uh, ISIS, but I think you um you said something about Canada, Abby. I said you can take Jimbo and throw him in the trash. Uh, take him off this list. Thank you. I will to get there in a minute. Uh, ISIS Couture. Hey man, his big ass titties can go to hell. Thanks. Sure. Um, was I feeling ISIS like that on her first season? I, I thought that uh, Pith, uh, Pythia would have taken it, but I mean, I think like ISIS is more relatable. Yep. I think ISIS was a little bit more relatable. Uh, mm-hmm. But I think Pythia did better in the competition. Yes. Okay. Uh, Organza, I don't know. Is that? I, that's Brazil. I didn't watch the season. Didn't watch it. Um, captivating black black. We will not discuss how robbed Miss Jade So was. Okay, the- Miss J- Miss Jade, Jade So oh. and Bernie. Bernie was robbed. Bernie was robbed. It was like if you're going to crown the trans woman, get crown the trans woman that we like. Not this bitch. <laughs> not the villain and the. Mm. Ugh, girl, yeah. Kiana Kiana cleared and no one had a chance. That Wait. part. <laughs> Kiana really in a, wait, I didn't watch her season. Well, oh, bitch, Kiana. Is she actually those though? girls. Like, was she entertaining in like the workroom and stuff though? I I think so. I because okay. Kiana was Kiana came, you know, came from the ballroom. I so I think she was just like that just amount of shady. Um there were a lot of great personalities that season. It was very even across the board. I think it was a fantastic season to watch. That's why it's the highest rated of 2023. <laughs> That makes sense. Got you. Okay. Um, next. Next. Now, what happened with Jimbo? Now that y'all don't know what happened, there's something I missed. There's I'm something not, about his face. I just, there's something about his face, his personality, everything about him irks my spirit. I don't like him. Him I with his Jimbo. big titties and his dumb jokes. Go to hell. I, like I would Jimbo. be interested to see Jimbo in person, like just because I want to know what. I want to at least experience it one time. Just one time for the one time. He reminds me of that goofy uh, doll that be on the Time magazine. I don't know. The wooden, oh, the wooden face in the freckle. Uh, mm-hmm. 
I have no idea. Talking about. Uh, Pandora Knox is a cis woman. Yes. However, yes. Pandora has one of the, some of the most unique makeup I've seen ever. So props to that. Yeah. I didn't watch her season, so I don't know. I didn't uh, Envy Peru. Um, that that season was just mug hard. is woo. Yeah, that mug is that's the face. Always right. Woo! Always. I, did, I saw that bitch. Ain't I never saw been her right. and um. Oh God, I can't remember her what? name right now. Who won season two? The the pageant. Uh, her mother. Who? What, what was her name? Vanessa okay. Van Cartier. Vanessa. Bitch, I saw them whores in person at the last drag. The last drag con I went to, and I was like, Oh my. God. It looks exactly the same in person. Girl, I just feel like I need to go de drag. Like, oh, you not finna just no. sit here and just right. I mean, like, wear me out on, like let this? Let me just start taking this off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, next, oh, next is next is the person who shouldn't have. You well, should not have won her season, maybe. But the person she should have been in the finale with was not there. Right, yeah. And the, the, that elimination canceled the franchise. <laughs> Literally. They put out, so this was the season that had Kata Minaj on it. Kata ate up the entire season. I do mean she ate up the entire season. She had the most wins. She and was, the looks were on point. She was really in the bottom. She was eating it all the way the fuck up. Then she gets to like right before the finale and they were like, go home. What made I, it worse is that the person that sent her home cheated. So it just didn't make yeah, it any better. Yeah, the person better. Her home cheated. Like, it was... It, uh, girl, yes. It was a hot mess. And no shit, as soon as that episode aired, the season was canceled. Okay, shout out to um, Love love My Sissy from that season. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that, that episode aired, and she went home, and we said... And so to oh, the franchise. No. Canceled. And Fred lost a job, because what the fuck was that... Now somebody else is about to lose their job. Um, right? Yeah, some somebody got fired. Uh, Fred lost her job, and now uh, Supreme, Supreme, Supreme you her job too. Are you are under probation, ma'am, for this All Star season and season three from Espana? Oh, was it bad? I I didn't see it, but I heard horrible things about it, and everyone Oof. speaks terribly about it. And uh -uh. Um, this season here is just. The, from what I've seen from the All Star season, because I stopped watching, because I said, "Girl, the, this one bitch out of the, the six competitive episodes, this bitch has won four of them and was high in the fifth one." Goodbye. Oh, this is over already. What's the point? Why are we here? It, it is just it's it's so so top heavy. It's just like that's not engaging to watch. It's just like, girl. Yeah, no one wants to watch somebody just take it. Steamroll. Now the bitch gets eliminated and doesn't win, and I kind of want Samantha Valentine to win. No shade. She had the biggest glow up. Yeah. Oh, Valentina got fired too. Jesus. Allegedly. Allegedly. Mexico was bad. Smiling. Unfortunately, Mexico was terrible. Mexico was fucking horrible. And what made it worse is that it was being aired alongside French, which was amazing. It's kind of like how season thirteen was aired alongside UK two. Okay. And how UK versus the world season two is alongside season sixteen. I do not understand this. Why are y'all doing that to us? Are we really about to have 50, uh, are we about to have another 50 week cycle of drag race because in 2022 there was two weeks out of the entire year that did not feature a new episode of Drag Race. It was too much. Oh my girl, y'all I'm just I'm just not going to watch. I'm, I'm not, not going to do, do it. I can't do it. I can't like, do it. Like Belgique Sevry she she. No. I'm not going to hold you. The people not speaking primarily English or it's um not Holland. Nope, even Holland, they speak a good amount of Dutch English. Um, mm. yeah, the people not giving me Spanglish and shit. I don't I, I really don't the know. The only it. non speaking, the only uh non English speaking that I will watch is Philippines, France. They, but they do Thailand. half English in Philippines. And I I hadn't watched Thailand, but I heard great things about Thailand. If it comes back, I'll watch it. Yeah. Um yeah, Philippines and France. So if you have any drag Dracula moments. Dracula moments. Listen, them season bitches on Dracula be ready to to fist fight. That's season why like five it. were was filled with hills and valleys. I I didn't even watch the finale. Like, I it was, never watched the finale. And the was reunion was so terrible. Yeah, that's where they were. I, I was like, okay. I was like, girl, what are we talking about here? So I'm gonna preface it because I don't want the people to try to cancel me because I, you know, support all drag. Right? Um, I'm not really a Dragula fan. 
I'm not really a fan of horror or filth or um glamour. I, the glamour I'm here for. Um, but yeah, once you start getting into the once I watched the episode and a girl had nails through her fingers and they were stapling people, uh, I, I catch like some clips or whatever. I'm not really into it that I much. Love it. Yeah, I, I love live. It. <laughs> I, I love live. Because you know, I'll be right. I just write on my ass. Greg, I you love. And, I, and I let me just tell you, speaking of hosts of a drag show, Drag Morda and the other one, them bitches be done every episode. You know I mean? Not everyone. Most. Not everyone. 95%. A couple of them, I'm like, what the fuck y'all got on? Child, one time much. they had this big thing where they were literally like, I can't, we got to take this helmet off because I can't hold my head off. Like, but most times, yes. Most you know, times. Now, here's what I will say bothers me about Dragula, and this is going to be real unpopular, and I really don't care. I am really, really tired of this weird conversation in the community about how Dragula is so vastly much more inclusive. Um, and that it's made to to celebrate all drag and this that and that. Maybe it's a television show with producers and a budget. I need y'all to. I need the people to understand. Dragula. Well, is- they mean no, no, because they because they've cast the drag straight, kings. They it's had drag queens. They have drag kings. Str- mm. They've had women. They've had cisgendered women. They've had trans women. They've had but that's drag because, kings, lesbians, still. But they that's got because the, the tenets of poison. what they're doing is not based around a specific type of drag. Or let me rephrase: the specific type of drag they're doing is not based around gender expression. It ain't got nothing to do with it. Which is fine. There's a lot of gender expression. What I'm saying, what, my, what I mean though is. It's not part of the the need mm-hmm. situation. Whereas root for drag race, that like femme aesthetic is part of the requirements on the on the scorecard. That feminine or masculine aesthetic is not part of the Dragula scorecard, which right, is right because they say drag is art and art is subjective. And they say that bullshit every week to me because they say that it's bullshit not every bullshit. week. Because Woo! Woo! They say it every week because it makes the keyboard warriors happy. It's like let 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 me or put this out so that I feel like that's I mean I feel like they're that's really what they think but that's it really is a great it is a great palette to be like okay let me let you know I'm not judging you yep. for this but I am about to read you but it's still mm-hmm. television <laughs> show and, decision, and the decisions are still being made in order to get good <clears throat> ratings like we can't sit here and act like it's not a, it's still a TV show that's trying to hit, do the same thing Drag Race doing meaning some of the decisions. Are not objectively based. Okay. Like, we, uh, yeah. I, that's my thing is, can, as long as the people can acknowledge that the choices made on drag on Dragula, just like Drag Race, are not always based around the, the, just the art being done, but also the budget that needs to be made for the next season and whether or not this would be a good television moment or not. I loved how Dragula had their first ever lip sync for your life in a five season. They did it one yeah. time. They it <laughs> once, and they was like, this is cheap, but... Which is <sighs> wild, considering a lot of those girls also still lip sync in their regular careers. How did you feel about Vantasia, Royal Gaga, and her breast? Child. I just was like, baby, how, how... Yeah. Ooh, Dragula's Titans Lord. Yes, the Victoria Elizabeth Black show. Um yeah, she ate them girls up. She ate them. Yeah. Ate them girls up. I did watch I did watch Titans. I won't lie, I did watch Titans. Horrible finale. But Terrible. Great oh, show. Girl. Great show. <laughs> Why were they knew, be there? <laughs> I think they knew that. because I feel like they played they kind of, you know, joked about it themselves in the season five and Ellie. It's like, will we have a poor blood or will we show a picture in the hallway? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, I'm glad to take the take the take the notes. I'm so glad. So God, glad you're self aware. Don't ever do that shit again. Because it was what terrible. The fuck? I said, wait, this it? And then the credits started rolling. I said, Oh girl, uh, cancel yeah, my I, subscription today. To shutter. How dare you? 
I want my six ninety nine bags. <laughs> what is happening? Y'all played in my face. But um, real bad. You always be mad at me when I express how I feel about Dragula. Because like I, I'm glad it's there, but I really hope people understand that it is the same business model as RuPaul's Drag Race, and will be attempting to make more money for itself. <laughs> Just a different yes. flavor. No. Just a different flavor. It's I just like a to different have, flavor. I like to have the option of just a well, little I'm glad something it's there. different. I just, I, because I keep hearing this conversation about how RuPaul's Drag Race should have drag kings, and I don't, I, I don't know. know, girl. I don't know. I am not opposed. To I it, would not be opposed to a drag but, king season. No, nah, I'm opposed to that. Go. I think I, I might be opposed be, to that. I would like uh, just a uh, RuPaul's Drag Race drag kings edition, like. And that's just what it is. Instead of it being queen, the kings and queens competing against each other, that. maybe an abbreviated season get like seven give or eight pick. drag kings. I, give uh, us all, give us a short season, 10, 12 episodes. I don't want to do that because it's. I feel like it segregates them from the acts from the mainstream part of the show. I will just include them with the other girls. Um, come on. So here's my thing, right? I don't believe that RuPaul has to be the door opener for all of queer art. Mm-hmm. I don't think she has to to do it for everybody mm-hmm. at one time. Um, that's a lot to ask a seventy year old to do. It's a it's a lot, right? RuPaul she, is seven hundred and fifty years old, she right? She do already everything. opened up the door for drag mm-hmm. queens, which already were marginalized to begin with, and, and still are today. Not as okay. much, but and so it's weird when we're in this marginalized space, and in a marginalized black person in the marginalized gay space in this straight world with the white people you now want her to also have to come grab everybody else the lady is probably tired she got the drag queen somebody else nobody somebody said else that has rupaul to has to host that particular season. i wouldn't want rupaul to host it either i don't Amanda, i don't because that's not that's not who she is. That that's not what she represents. At if all. we can can we get Landon from Dragula Thank to come you. and host the season? Because that's what I've been saying. I've been saying give do a drag a drag kings only season. Have Landon Landon Sider be the main host and and the ju- main judge for it, mm-hmm. and do a little test run. Because at the end of the day, here's how here's what I really think. Um, and this is why the people somebody got like I had to, I, I almost had a fight with one of my friends. I said the reality is. There is no drag kings on Drag Race or a drag king season yet because it's not going to sell. Yeah, that's why I, I don't think there's enough for. I would. I think it would be more sellable like to on, have them compete it, along the queens. I would like them to have their own capsule season. Put it on Wild Presents. Put it on Wild Presents. It doesn't okay, have to that be on part. VH1. Like um, bring back my girls with Maddie when she does the show. Bring back my girls during DragCon and those panels that she does a whole. It's like a whole season. They. They put it all together and put it out. Do the same thing. Like they put put it on why exactly put it on, put it on while, while like they do everything, everything else. else. Like this. and then and gauge and that could be the beginnings of it. And if it picks up enough steam, then they can go other places. Then they then they can shop it to and like put it on logo. Uh before they can before they try and put it on VH1 and put it into the mainstream. You know, give us a little shot. Okay. Give us a little taste. Because and, see, reality, and see what it is. Because here's the thing, right? People have been talking about it for so long, but at the end of the day, making a television show is still a business decision. Mm-hmm. It can't just be artistically based. That means it has to have, make money. They have, they have to have this have... idea and have it acknowledged. They probably not gonna make and no money sponsor, they, have, they need they need sponsors. They need somebody who's gonna and the sponsor sponsor's it. not trying to sponsor. <clears throat> And I hate to say it like that, but like, and that's not to say that drag kings don't deserve whatever, whatever, but the other side of that also comes to us in the community. Um, the reality is people also don't financially, they're not somebody has drag- Somebody has to be passionate about drag queens like they were passionate about drag queens in order yep. to push them to get to that Correct. place. And, and and expecting RuPaul to do it when she's not passionate about drag king- I, kings like that is crazy and unfair. Right. She wasn't all that thrilled about trans women competing. Okay. Said, all right. I didn't want to let the elephant out, but it was I mean, right there. She she basically was like, it's I, it kind of defeats the fantasy of doing the man into the woman. That's why she started with, you know, ladies gentlemen. start your, or gen, start your la- engines. gentlemen start your engines and made the best, and made the best woman. woman. 
Weird. Weird. Like she was into that whole transformative part about it, which, you know, became controversial. Because that's how it started for her. <laughs> for right. her. Yeah. Right. And I think that's the part is like, damn, she out here celebrating what she does, what she does well, and what she spent all this time and energy working to build for herself and in this space that she's living in. And y'all are mad at her for celebrating other people who are doing what she's doing. What, my problem is not that drag race won't bring drag kings. My problem, world of wonder, why y'all didn't go get Landa Sider and host this already? And the reality is because they already know it's not going to sell. And here's the problem, right? Um, if, and this is not me saying I don't think it was sell. This is me saying if the show are not out already, they'd have had these business meetings. Um, because personally, I would love to see it. On the other side of that, right? Here's what happens. If they put a drag king on Drag Race, right? Um, I'm going to judge the metrics against. Here's the thing, right? One, you got to do with the metrics. But let's just say the metrics, they figured it out, whatever, whatever. Cool. This person's on. If they go home early, it's rigged for that person to go home early. They just wanted them to be there. And they were never going to do well anyway, right? The people never going to be satisfied. You put a drag king on there, and if he wins... They just gave him the win because they just wanted to give the first drag king a win. It's never going to work with drag kings on drag race because no one's going to be satisfied. I think that's why, I think because they're kind of working on Dragula is because they're kind of under the lens of the horror aspect and they can, it can still be campy. It can be campy. It's the alternative to... Like, if drag race is the gold standard, this is what this was the introduction into drag and what drag is. Then, mm-hmm. Dragula is their dirty little brother off the set, you know what I'm saying? So, there's mm-hmm. already the alternative <laughs> version of the, the, the not so clean version of drag race. So, they're allowed to do different things that would not necessarily fly over on drag race right mm-hmm. cisgendered women uh drag race has had one well, drag race uk but drag race has had a cisgender woman who performed in front of rupaul twice now was it on drag race us no it was uk but it doesn't really count the only reason i counted it is because rupaul was still the main like rupaul and michelle were the main judge that's for cute. that show count. you that's cute it's in uk it doesn't count I, I don't mean I don't mean like it doesn't count as in like we don't take get credit. But it for didn't it. happen here. I'm yet. just saying it it's not it's not happening here on the original show, on the flagship, on the show that if it wasn't for this show there would not be anything right. else. So, but I also and Carmen Carrera had the issue because Carmen Carrera is trans. What issue and did that, Carmen Carrera have? She had an issue with RuPaul not allowing trans people onto the show. And That's eventually really, they got it together and now she's a host on one of the drag race things. Right. And I, I mean I mean my thing is just this. One, I don't think there will ever be a situation where it'll be judged fairly. One. Two, that's not RuPaul's gig. Asking her to jump back and build up a gig that's not hers. It's just I not, would like I would like fair. a crossover episode where RuPaul is a guest judge on Dracula or a drag mortar. On one of them, it's a guest judge on drag. The problem, well, one, you ain't gonna never see nobody else in drag on RuPaul's Drag Race. One, two, that's probably not gonna happen because, uh, foolishly, the Dragula people make snide comments about Drag Race on the show. What did they say? I never knew. Oh, they, We're not they, even they always, <clears throat> they're always giving shit to Drag Race. Yeah, like, well, I mean, not even that's they're throwing shade, they throw shade all the time, all the time, especially when baby girl, when J. Jolie was on Dracula, Mm -hmm. they gave her fits because she was on Drag Race before she went to Dracula, and they was like, Well, what are you doing here? This is not your gig, so why are you here? And I get they have to say the other one because for legal And then she cried about her cat dying and then I was over it. (laughs) I was like, Girl, go home, but yeah, (laughs) uh, it's just a matter of like. Um, I, I always found that weird because it's like, hey, Dragula, you wanted the, the notoriety of them people. Why you didn't like be not yeah. play ball? Like y'all didn't play ball at the end of the day. 
and that but that's their shit that, that they don't play by the rules that they are outside the norm they're rock and roll and kicking up and wearing the out. club kid boots and the ripped stockings and but the thing kicking. is you can walk out in club kid boots on drag race as long as you got a femme, femme aspect because that's what rupaul wants to see and here's what the other got to do with the you can still be a club kid on on drag race no i'm that's not what i'm Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Is that what, what I meant? But okay, I get you. I get what you're saying. But okay. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I would love to see drag kings get something. It's not gonna be RuPaul's Drag Race. I think we all need to go ahead and just get over it and create a new space for them. Because I would love to see it, but because then you're gonna have, you're gonna also have to at that point you're gonna be casting. Um, male performers too. Mm. Are we casting cis male performers when we do the the drag king situation? Is that what's happening, or is it? I see why not? They cast the cis male, uh, straight male for. Drag but see, race. they why don't not? even put on. They're all like male performers from are mainly all costume. Like there's there's very there's not really makeup involved. Very much, or if it is, it's just like maybe a base. It's, it's a bit all of costume. Yeah. So it, it'd mm. be a very different grading scale because you do male performers, and uh, that man gonna come out there and just a little bit of foundation and some contouring, unless he's a full on drag king and has to like you know. Right, because then it's not just male performance no more. So for right. dog, don't do that. Don't do that. Do I mean. So. Drag queens mm -hmm. re restructure our faces too. <laughs> I know some drag kings, and they really do the they do the work, the makeup work of drag makeup. Right, because yeah. Landon Sider in and out of makeup, it looks like a completely different person. That part, like there's prosthetics involved. Mm -hmm. Like your for you change the whole reconstruction. You don't yeah. even look even the same. um oh god, what was her name from season five? Zombie. Rob Zombie. Rob yes. Zombie. Mm -hmm. That was a, that was a makeup artist, bitch. Yes. Yep. And so it's just it, there be so many differences. I that's why I'm like just give them their own thing, please, because the level of differences and the level that they be playing on it would be it may be like Continental. Imagine Continental, one of these pageant systems, trying to do the men and the women together. Right. I'm waiting for a cisgendered woman to appear on American Drag Race. I'm waiting. Well, maybe. Maybe. Like, you have trans women on here. I mean, you have a cisgender just... female. You, there are cisgender women out here who do drag and do drag dealt. So, why, I, why, why can't? I mean, I'm not going to hold you. I don't know many. I know a few, but I don't know many. I knew of one in my hometown of Houston. Um, But what I'm saying is they exist. They, they do exist. It's... Damn, because there's no so way to say it without being divisive. We had, we, uh, what's that? we got Clover Dish on, you know, it, it's so hard to do this, have this conversation without being divisive because being in the middle of it, it feels so different. Um, especially, I mean, I won't hold you, especially being a, a black girl. Um, there are things that I have seen drag kings and cis performers do regularly mm -hmm. that if I ever attempt it, I would get booed off the stage because I did not do enough. <laughs> and I'm not saying that all of them do that. I can just say my experience <clears throat> does not lend to the level of it. Now that being said, we do also have in Michigan some girls some some drag kings and some this female performers who be eating it up and doing a big one. There are less doing their big one than there are more. Yeah, but I've also seen some drag kings who put on a little bit of foundation and some powder and walk out onto the drag race stage like they really did something. Marsha, 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 where the hell is your makeup daughter? I mean, y'all can say that about her if you want to, but she still gave a feminine aesthetic when that's a whole boy in real life. In the face. 
Is he a boy in the face in real life? I mean, he's young, but is he a soft. boy in the face in real life? Let's it's let's soft, talk about it. Yes. <laughs> if you saw that, if you saw that, are you saying you he's a teenage? I'm saying you saw that you a teenage girl. You say hello, sir. <laughs> no, I would not. Hello, I would say, sir. hey, little girl, where are your parents? Oh, girl, why are you in this alley by yourself at this time of night? <laughs> Let me see some ID. Oh, where need where are your parents? Where's your phone? Call your mama. We, we, we need girl. to I'm, uh, before I call CPS because why are you outside in the dark without parental supervision, young lady? Ain't hey. nothing open this time of night but legs and and and, and liquor. So what do we do? <laughs> Not doing that. Not we doing that. Not this. I'm screaming. I mean, you know, it's just I, like I said. I'm I would be excited. To it see would. More. Um, Why is my I'm waiting on this international all star season of the world. I don't okay. think they would have to change the the intro again if they started adding cis cis females. No, but the, if they add, but if they add drag kings, if they add drag kings, yes. But if they add cis females, I just they couldn't have see to a world where intro. that's gonna work. Especially here's my thing, mm -hmm. right? If if the pageant system is not about to be competing the men and the women together, RuPaul's Drag Race will not be doing it either. Listen, I I've seen enough boy chest to last me a lifetime, so we we okay with boy chest and boy body. Are we? Are we okay with this? I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm, not I'm not me. But I'm just saying it clearly is accepted because it has, it's happening all the time. Every time we turn around, there's somebody giving boy body, boy chest. You ain't got no titties. What's happening? And maybe um, we, and, but the the uh, the sister and the woman with the real titties is that's the problem. But this boy who just showed up with a little Nars light reflecting and a little Huda beauty under her eye, yeah, <laughs> and, nice and no titties and no hips, not the Nars and no titties and no hips and half of a BBL because I didn't like the B. And the top half of the other B, you didn't take the bottom part of the second B or the L, and you got like a scoop of booty. A and so a now we supposed to. <laughs> Here's my thing. Um, when it comes to Aquaria, I didn't like half of Aquaria's looks because of this. Um, the other side of it, though, is Aquaria admittedly does more androgynous drag okay. um, intentionally. Mm. Um, so I get it, but I, I did not like it. Half so would time. we be okay if it's a cisgender female and say she doesn't have, she has, she doesn't, she isn't as blessed as some of us mm -hmm. are, and she, she can give boy body, and, or androgynous drag where you can't really tell if it's a boy or a girl. When she cut, is that all right? Is that acceptable? If, if or is it or is it always going to be an issue because she's a cisgender female? It, the 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 concern, and I want to call it an issue because some people get all touched about this. The concern, or you know, whatever it will be, just the idea that there may not be as much work involved. And what I mean when I say that is, um, Victoria Scon pads. She pads her titties. She pads her hips. She pads her body. It's a big so it's lady. the same amount of work. But she does the same work. And she does not look like her with a shitload of makeup on. She looks like a whole new person. So if the transformation is the same for a cisgender female, she comes, she if you take all of the stuff off, she looks like a completely different person. Then and I'm when fine. She has, that when she puts all of the stuff on, I just... But my and my thing is why it if you're acceptable of that why I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave well, it alone because I, mean, I, I, I understand. I understand they're trying to um, achieve the illusion of what we have naturally. I get, it. I get it. And some people is and and I feel like some people will think it's an unfair advantage because you started ten steps ahead of where this man had to start from he had to get well sometimes i have to get rid of my beard i think but, <laughs> you know yeah i think the one thing though is what what sometimes people kind of lose and with with drag at least for me one of the biggest things is the fact that we aren't women 
um, that we are creating these characters. Like there's a whole character creation process um, that for some of us does include body changes in this that to give the illusion of who we are not, right? So if you show up to the to the to the gig as a cis wonder cisgender performer and you just have a dress on that just fits your body, that's lovely. You look great. You could probably perform the house down and that's cool. But the whole point is the fact that we know you are nip tucked plucked and pulled together so vastly up under it that you have restructured. So I have no problem with cisgender women performing, but I would like to see the same level of execution. And I think that's where it's, I don't have a problem with somebody coming out. So and my question is, you don't think that there's a same level of execution. I understand that y'all have to do, y'all have to tuck things that we don't have to necessarily <clears throat> tuck and add titties or add ass that we may not necessarily, like we can pay it to. We shape too, because our bodies are not, not all of our bodies are made naturally to look like yeah. what they want the illusion to look like. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to proportionize too. We need them hips to match them shoulders. You know okay. what I'm saying? So we too have to go through that same. If if we are given that perfect woman, Jessica Rabbit illusion of what the female form can be. And we have to do the same amount of, we have to pad to make everything proportionate to look right. We have to build a face. We didn't have a jawline. Maybe we had two or three. And now we got to shave that back down to one. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. We got to, we, listen, our eyebrows are spurious and we got to put those on and we got to put the lashes on because we ain't got now. You know what I'm saying? Put, you know, Carve our face. Or put some hair extensions in. Yes. Exactly. Because I look like a Cynthia doll before I put this wig on today. So. Okay. <laughs> you know, and here's my thing. And because of, like, I enjoy the transformation process, right? I enjoy going from boy to girl. But it's not necessarily because I'm changing the gender. I, I'm still screaming about this Cynthia doll. I can't, girl. It's not necessarily that I have to do. It's just the idea of going through it, right? If I'm sitting here dying because I'm trying to buck and turn and perform and do all of this work while you, while I'm, you know, padded and this and the third, and somebody just put a dress on and walked out without any work to create this, right? Because there are also the girls like um, Akira Davenport who has paid to not have to pad anymore. Right. She, she paid for it to be the proportions that she wanted. Fine. What I do not, I am not a fan of. She I was trans like once upon a time too. Huh? She was. She said she was trans right. uh, transitioning for a period, point. so that's probably attributed to her surgeries. Correct. Um, <laughs> and so it's just a matter of like, yeah, it, it doesn't feel. If we're getting judged on the the shape and the look, and I've gone through all of this. And they say, oh, well, the hips are a little, uh, uh, and then you don't, and then a cisgender woman doesn't, right? The chance of her getting critiqued like that is low because then nobody's going to talk about her real body. You, you know what I mean? And so then can you say to that person, oh, okay, look, you look lovely, and I'm glad you came here in your natural state. However, it's not giving what's supposed to have been gave for this, this situation. It's supposed to be giving va-va-boom, and it's not. Can we tell that person, well, you need some pads in because no girl's not giving what it needs that gave? I don't see why. That. If, you, if you are presenting yourself for that particular critique, mm -hmm. you won't have to be able to take the critique. And okay. If it is because, and if it's not because if your body ain't, hey, daughter, you know, we love you. Bless your heart. But, you need but to them hips need to match them shoulders, daughter. Okay, what you yes. doing? What you got you know, going you, on? If, if the work, if and I know that sounds bad, like, oh, if the work is being, but yes, if the same level of work is being put into the drag, by I don't care what you, who you are. Man, woman, drag king, drag queen, I don't care. If the work is there, bitch, eat it. Period. I don't understand the amount of drag that I have to go through to go to church on a Sunday. I mean, I that's very much drag. I, listen, that's I that's about the closest all. thing to like pedestrian drag there is. It's like, it's not high whore drag, but it's not like w mall walking drag either. It's, right. it's it's a very intermediate area because mm -hmm. maybe them hats and them colors that them old Listen. women be wearing in the pews. Drag queen, drag queens. 
I mean, let, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of my style. Hi, Naya. Welcome in. Uh, a lot of my style <clears throat> comes from the church ladies. Like that's who I grew up looking at. Those are the women who I am most used to and the most comfortable with. And even when I'm in drag, those are the women where my personality and my my spirit really resonates. Um, I tell people all the time, my my thing is I am everybody's homegirl. Um, there's that weird ass phrase where you know, I, I believe in it, but if you're everybody's friend, you're a friend of none. And but Angela, the character, she really can be everybody's homegirl. Like she's just here to have a good time, be cool, respectful, and have have some fun. That's what I go into it with, but I'm real conservative in the way that I dress. So I come across like a church lady. <laughs> Because I, I am pretty conservative in my dress. I do not like having tits and stuff out. I, mm. I do. I find it very funny how the church house condemns the homosexuals as they dress like the homosexuals. Jesus. When you put the mirror me up. And you hate me. <laughs> they said, how dare you flamboyant homosexuals dressed in this such a way, sitting there with However, jewelry, heavy-ass gowns, and <laughs> And I'm in a jewel green suit with matching right. now or later gators like, with the kerchief girl. and the pin. Okay. <laughs> you are a drag, kept, girl. Get the fuck out of kept, here. Um, Easter Sunday in a black church? Listen, Baby. Because when I say way. I'm playing in my look now, because I'm going to make I am girl. going to make these bitches eat. Period. They're going to be mad. There is nothing better than a big woman who knows how to dress. Child. Oh, baby. Baby. Let me tell you. Baby. That's the mm-hmm. one. And I be getting to, I'm not, not, I am that gay. Um, I get people together in real life. Uh, <laughs> um, I have gathered some of the girls in, in my real life because some of the big girls be dressing crazy. And I be like, sis, you're not going to be out here looking crazy like this. You can't you don't do that. Have to look, you don't have to look crazy because you're a bigger person. There's you some, don't. you just like you got don't. the white things that accentuate your body. Mistress does a great job of such. Mistress's body always looks amazing. I like, I know she a big girl, but I just be looking at her body like, damn, this looks like a normal person wearing it. And that's a big bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a big ass nigga. Like, when I realize how big that man really is in real life, Give me Jesus, this just is like not. Out, I would like to check out. She's not. She's not really that big in person. Not, not, not like here. Just proportionately, that's a big man. Oh, like not fat. Like not just fat, but just in general. Mm-hmm. That's a big Texas grown man. Oh. It's like yeah. Safira. Safira is a, oh, that's a man. grown man. Baby, that all the masculine features you could have. Okay. <laughs> my God. My God. I think people forget that about Safira. The reason Safira's proportion stuff is like that because it's like a six three man. It's just like baby, if you don't, then that's it's a man. So you have to have big hair, big lashes. Now she didn't have big y'all, tits at first. Y'all are stupid. I would <laughs> just like to say that we have been on here for two, almost two and a half hours. Oh yeah. We maybe discuss this episode for about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. Because the I episode mean, was not that great. They could have kept not. this episode it just been like email. last week. No. What is next week looking? I didn't even watch. I, didn't I don't know. They're doing uh, like a... I forgot. When RuPaul said morphine says, yeah, you stay, I cut it off. Shanta, you said, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was like cool. I mean, mm-hmm. here's the thing. We knew it was coming. The reality is all that had to happen in that lip sync was Morphine not get ate up. But she did. I don't think Morphine got ate up in that lip sync. I do. I 100% do. She sucked. I didn't like it. Damn. I enjoyed her performance. I I did not. Damn. I would have said, I think they both did good. I genuinely think this one could have gone either way. Um, Mm -hmm. There was a case that was made for both. Yeah, the, mm. it, this really could have just been case closed against morphine. Go home. Thanks, appreciate it. They could have picked for playing okay. I, I here's what I do think. I think if Maya hadn't been in the bottom so many times, Maya would have stayed. She would have absolutely. When they say, "Oh, I've been down here four times," I was like, "Ooh, she's <clears> going home." It yeah. doesn't matter. And a lot of do. people are, are the fandom and is showing they how little to, they know about ballroom. Listen, and then they tried to do this. Oh, she so because she threw her took her thing off and flipped ballroom. It over her. Ballroom. Ballroom. Yeah, if which, yeah, Matt said, Maddie said, Maddie Rand said this earlier. I was watching his review and I was down with it when he said it. 
He said, if this bothers you, stay away. Stay far, far, far away from ballroom. If what baby, you watched baby. Maya do on the stage today was a problem for you, keep clear of the ballroom is. spaces. Baby, far, those, far away. Do not is, go. They, baby, they will shade you. They will... They, somebody yanked the person off the stage at one point. <laughs> Maybe y'all didn't see. I know I saw legendary when Mama said "woof" and oh Lisa yeah, "wop wop," and yank. Because <laughs> yes. girl, Lisa you tried said, to slash that over my face, baby. Pull, baby. She could have pulled that baby. She could have hurt that baby. Oh, no, I miss legendary so much. I miss that it's goddamn very, very show. Yeah, that was a shit. But oh. I'm gonna get up out of here because I do have some something. My phone going off now. They like, where you at, bitch? And I'm like, oh, I'm talking no. to my peoples about my show. <laughs> Period. Yeah. But okay. We're gonna go Thank ahead and get up out of here. So with that, <clears throat> to everybody who was here who came in, oh come oh, on, Hennessy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Period. Okay. Yeah. Let me get out so I can get some mine. But with that, to everybody who was here, came in, said something, didn't say something, spread some love. And even if you was a hater, that's okay. I appreciate you. And I'm going to get your ass since one day. We're working on it. With that, mm-hmm. now we're going to get up out of here. Just know that we love you. And we will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.